God is real, but against us, pray for what you don't want. Reverse theology. I'll pray for freedom, cause no matter how much I'll tell you I want it, I'm still getting led around by a cigarette. Or anger, or fear, take your pick. I don't give a shit. And I wish it were true, but to get free, we have to start with what's true, I think. And if I have to tell you that what's real is terrible, maybe you're in the wrong place. If I have to tell you that what's true is terrible, maybe you're in the wrong place. I've looked my family in the eye and told them leave me to die Or I'll make you sorry you didn't I've stolen from people who didn't deserve it I've not helped people who did I turned away when I knew I made a mistake Instead of dealing with it I've wasted good chances I've had in this life that other people won't even get I put off setting things right with Andy and now he's dead In the 
fact that every empire's days are numbered, man. But I don't think that I can count that high. I should have paid better attention in school or something. I feel like there's something that I don't know And if I could just jam it into my skull I could stand to live somehow But I don't know And the fact is I'm 2.7 decades in to a growing ambivalence I can count on no hands How many fucks I've given Or is it a million? Are God and void equivalents? Are we making total destroy Or just making a living? And I know That Rome wasn't burnt in a day But it couldn't have been more than a week And I know Children of barbarians become the new tax collectors and priests. So I don't know. I suppose we've been rolling since the world was round and time makes us do what we can't tear down. I suppose dead bodies make soil of the ground But what about what we do now? I'm growing old in rooms full of kids with unruly haircuts Taking what comfort we can In the fact that every empire's days are numbered now But I don't think I can count we're up all night dreaming We aren't alive as long as there's a prison guard still breathing So we're up all night scheming We don't get tired, we get even
swear I'm here. Hold on. All right, I'm here. All right. I'm sorry you have a cold caboose. That sucks. What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> Jakob MD, thanks for the call. All right, um, all right. Mm, bad caboose, bad. I don't know. Woo! Mm. Let's start the show with this. Why not? It's a husky and a gray wolf. If anybody was ever wondering about the size comparison, there you go. Um, just thought it was interesting. So I figured we'd start the show with that. Yeah. Big puppers. Oh. oh. Imagine, imagine taming one of those as like a hunter, right? Fucking some, you're like, imagine. That's <laughs> a little tense. I would too. Um. Oh, fun, Aspen. Mm, that's gonna cut into your fucking video game playing. Not that, not that your 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 children's mother's sickness is all about me, but it's all about me. Ah, uh, <laughs> that sucks though. Hey, <laughs> non-binary. Hey, <laughs> the sub. Question: How can an essential worker be essential but not worthy of a living wage? Because um, the system doesn't value. Um, that's the last nice thing that's happen happening on stream tonight, everyone. Uh, I'd actually, you know what, Marcus, it may be a pretty short, chill stream. I'm sort of just whatever, hanging out. Of course it's all about you, hence why I mentioned it. Oh, so kind of you, Aspen, so kind of you. That sucks though, man. Uh, we're not doing popos today. I don't have the list up. Okay, I just you give Kvass. I just I was envisioning so like European hunter of old, right? Fucking coming through the like foggy mist of the forest and emerging with a fucking stick and a rifle slung on his back and a wolf, like a real fucking wolf, next to him, like just keeping pace, right? Like imagine how like Jesus, oh, it'd be an intense image. Uh, I, I don't even do. Where do we start? I mean, we could talk about the Republicans voting record for the last week, right? Um, block the bill to expand health care for veterans exposed to burn pits. Uh, uh, voted against uh, bringing. Oh, uh, voted against the chipset manufacturing subsidy. So that you know, trying to bring some of the silicon manu uh, chip manufacturing home, so we don't have to rely on China for it. What a concept! They voted against that, though they didn't manage to close that one out. Um, and then they uh, officially, like as a party, like platform, they announced their opposition to the Inflation Reduction Act. Which would, amongst other things, lower prescription drug prices and attempt to push the deficit down. Surprise, surprise. Uh, uh, Caboose, your system is having issues. <laughs> um, Major Nazi Taylor, super. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want pugs, Voss. I want an actual fucking wolf. That's the whole point of that statement. Um, the GOP platform. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. But rah, China steals our jobs. Rah, China. Speaking, speaking of China. <laughs> Did you see his latest photo? Jesus. Fucking Christ. China. 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 
Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nonsense. Uh, I sure hope not. When the artery's gonna clog, they probably already have. He's probably had all sorts of fucking treatments that we're not privy to. White does him no favors. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, we could talk about the fucking uh, NFL nonsense. I, uh, uh, just in case, um, in case you were wondering, um, the NFL has historically okay sports teams historically um, have a bit of a <clears throat> rape issue. Um, historically, uh, y y yeah, non-binary single ticket one in Illinois. Um, well, Aspen, the only reason we should give a shit about the NFL in this instance would be, but here's a simple comparison. Um, <clears throat> Aspen, um, Tom Brady, um, Tom Brady played for the much, um, hated Patriots, won a bunch of games. Tom Brady was accused of under inflating footballs, or at least the Patriots were, or Tom Brady was, and Tom, or the Patriots were, and Tom Brady did nothing about it. And then the commissioner wanted f uh, his phone that had pictures of his naked wife on him. Either way, Tom refused to turn over his cell phone. And Tom Brady was accused of under inflating footballs and got a four game suspension. Okay? So just, just, this is your baseline for how the NFL punishes people. Okay? Tom Brady might have underinflated a few footballs or been participant to a few footballs being underinflated and refused to cooperate. He got four game suspension. Deshaun Watson was credibly accused by 22 women of harassment and sexual assault and got a six game suspension. <clears throat> so, you know. Four games for like football, like ball things, and then six games for being a serial rapist. Yeah. Well, actually, Aspen, see, that's the interesting thing. <laughs> Shaq Spire, thanks for the follow. Um, Aspen, that's the interesting thing about the math of it. Um, actually, Tom Brady's suspension, four game suspension, was in a season with less games than Deshaun's six game suspension. So technically, the math works out differently than that. <laughs> Nonsense. The whole Deshaun Watson thing is a shock to me. Didn't seem to me uh, to be uh, to the, be the type at all. I don't right. Fair enough, non-binary. Well, you never know. Hey, non-binary, a unit can rape. We don't know what Deshaun's, Deshaun Watson's testicular status is. Maybe his fucking balls don't work after like a decade plus of like high test steroid usage, right? We don't know if it's a ball issue. See? I don't know what that means, nonsense. Uh, so. You know, that. But anyway. Yeah, like, I mean, that's that's sort of, you know, like if, <laughs> the Republicans are voting against, like, providing veterans health care. The fucking NFL is handing out suspensions for rape. That are comparable to not inflating a ball correctly. He's one of the four most efficient passers of all time. Oh, oh, well, then that that. That makes sense. Nonsense. That totally makes sense then. He's one of four of the most efficient passers of all time. So the NFL doesn't want to lose him. So they're willing to put up with as many rapes as this dude probably cranks out as long as he's still passing the ball effectively. So is his, is his career peaked? Has his career peaked? Is that's what is what's happened here? <clears throat> No, rapist makes monies. Simple as that. Yeah, even if he killed. He was reaching his peak. See, that's why we're starting to hear about it. It's, it's that simple. It's like um, R. Kelly. 
He stopped selling records, so they finally sent him up the fucking river. Uh, Chris Brown still somehow gets away with shit. Chris Brown still apparently sells things. Drake still sells shit out, so they let him get away with being a fucking groomer and a a fucking, like, child rapist. Unless they can bring up Aaliyah, for those of us who are old as fuck, if fucking need we go down the Aaliyah road with fucking Drake, um... You know, he still sells shit, so they're like, eh, you know, whatever it is what it is, right? As long as you keep putting out media that sells, the system will protect you. That's fine. We've seen that over and over again. Proudly Radical Monkey Pox. One of my my, uh, fans, apparently. Um, One of the, uh, I'm sure, very reasonable, very logically minded individuals that have had a wonderful interaction on this channel um, and not at all have been shown up as fools and idiots um, has more or less probably registered an account. But all that does is tell me I'm living rent free in somebody's head. So thank you. (sighs) Okay, but why is Seinfeld still around then? Jeez, worth a billion dollars. That's why. Uh, uh, he's got a fucking he can mark his, That dude's worth a billion dollars. That's fucking why. Uh, capital protects its investments. Intellectual property is still private property. Nobody knew anything about him being bad. Suddenly he wants out of Texas because zero, wait, zero mil isn't enough. I, I guess you mean 10 mil isn't enough. And he doesn't like how the team or nine mil, maybe nine mil. Um, doesn't like how the team is going and demands a trade as soon as he's splitting that uh, when all the allegations come out. So it sounds to me, nonsense, that the Texans knew all about it and were providing active cover-up. And the instant he wasn't with them, they were like, burn him. Or the instant that he may not be with them, burn him. Yeah, it sounds like there's organizational cover going on there, frankly. Um, and while we're, um, and while we're at it and, um, talking, speaking about, um, celebrities that we don't need, um, Taylor Swift to honestly, I don't think I've ever heard a single Taylor Swift song. Um, who apparently qualifies herself as a vocal environmentalist um, whose private jet took over 170 trips this year when she was criticized for this. Apparently the defense that she and her PR team chose to go with was that it's okay because she wasn't even on most of those 170 plus trips. I don't listen to radio, Crimson. It's entirely possible I've heard it, like, in passing in a store or something. But, like, yeah, I don't listen to radio, so I don't know. Yeah, I have my iPhone, which connects Bluetooth to my vehicle, and then I have Sirius XM satellite. So, I I don't, yeah. Um, But, you know, that. Wait, what are you saying? She went to Epstein Island? A hundred percent she did. Yep. The only thing I listen to on radio is CDs. Sounds like an Airbnb. Well, it probably was rented actually, Peaky. That's a common thing that uh, celebrities do with their overpriced jets. When you pay $48 million for a jet, $25 million for a jet, and you're not super liquid and you're not in an industry, you're not like a business mogul who's like getting stock dividends and their company makes money and these sorts of things, right? Like you want to cover the cost of those items. So you want them the ROI on that. And so a lot of celebrities rent or uh, um, they sign their plane up for essentially what is uh, Uber, uh, but for private planes. Yeah, there's a few of those services. Um, and so your plane can be making money while you're not using it because it's really, really expensive to even just own one. <clears throat> yep, hangar fees, fuel fees, pilot costs, private jets are stupid expensive. Um, so there you go. Jesus Foss. <laughs> I haven't had that since high school. Um, yeah. 
So like that's that was her defense. Her and her PR team's defense was, well, don't bl don't blame me. We you know my plane was only you know being used by other people, and I was profiting directly from it. I saw it, so do you. Simple as that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Take it all in. I'll leave it up there for a second. Dig, I have this in my phone. Um... Uh, Oh, it's a Trump golf pencil. I'm just looking at an AUKUS meme. Jesus Christ, that goes for a while. Uh, oh, wrong one. Anyway, like I said, I saw it, so do you. Do we need to talk about the gravesite? Hey, God. Do we need to talk about the gravesite? Does it fucking... The gravesite is... This is, this is the icing on the cake, right? Like, oh my God. Kaboos, no, but I want to. Fucking... Trump buried his ex-wife at, like, the third hole of his golf course for for not only property but an income and a sales tax elimination he did it for a fucking tax break he buried her in a pauper's grave at the like third hole of his golf course and it eliminates property income and sales tax because it now qualifies as a cemetery company Go for it, got. For somebody who has a problem with capitalism, you don't seem to have a whole lot of problems with capitalism. Uh, no, got. It's off to the side. Aspen, maybe because he physically and emotionally um, abused her in her living life, and now he's using her and abusing her in her death. And anybody who advocates for that or sort of like, oh, that's cool sort of situation is making light of an abuse victim who suffered for many, many years to the extent of being dragged by her hair down the stairs by him, as evidenced in their divorce filings. For anybody who fucking like, what? Well, yeah, it's it's in their divorce filings. He abused her brutally when she, uh, the doc, um, <laughs> yeah, and I am f am fully uh, fully in belief she was pushed. Um, when she, her, her doctor who did his hair plugs back in the nineties, he was in a lot of pain. Um, so he beat her ruthlessly dragged her down the uh, stairs by her hair, ripping her hair out in chunks as he went because he wanted vengeance for what he saw was her fart, uh, her fault, uh, her fault. Um, yeah. And it, it fucking raped the shit out of the woman too. 
So, like, yeah, this this isn't an abuse and rape victim of many, of many, many years. And now in death, he's abusing and raping her in a real, very real way once more. And using it for, for business purposes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's next level disgusting. And... Pretty much the mark of a sociopath. Yeah. Yeah, it's it it's it's really fucked up when you consider how badly he abused her in life. Yeah, did you see the meme with the fucking the the current wife realizing she's next? Cause that's a funny one. There's a picture of fucking Melania like, oh shit, he'll bury, he'll bury me on a fucking golf course for a tax break. Yeah. yeah. That's the funny one. It's the fucking picture of fucking Melania standing by him when he says this shit and just look on her face like, oh fuck. Yeah, bitch. Uh, public. <clears throat> Thank you for the daddy Bezos box as a prime sub. Uh, dude, caboose. <clears throat> we are, but I mean, I can't do anything about it. What the fuck can I do about it at this point? <clears throat> I'm gonna bury the kids at the golf course while he gets a state funeral and buried in Arlington. At least we'll all know where his grave is. They're gonna have to have twenty four hour <clears throat> twenty four hour monitoring on that gravesite. It's gonna be a permanent urinal urinal. Uh, it told me it was a prime sub, public. <clears throat> Dude, I'd fucking dig her up and give her a proper burial. Oh, that little fucking little cowardly bitch. Fucking ran. Fucking little cowardly bitch ran. Yup. Remember our our good faith fucking like uh, uh, Dane who uh, moved to Canada to escape all of the immigrant problems. Yeah, he came in and fucking said that it was uh, it was based that Trump buried his wife ex-wife that way. And then when I laid out that she was an abuse victim and how horrid the move actually was, he left. He ran. He just cowered it out like a little bitch. Didn't even have the fucking stones to like stick around and like try to like change the topic or anything. Just ran. Ah, uh, let's see. Told you he's been here since like February or some shit like that. He's been here for ages. January. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking yeah, that's it. Uh, nonsense because they're cowardly little bitches who don't uh, don't operate in good faith and have no intellectual capacity whatsoever um uh, okay pop yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. no I, I it's a hundred percent um that's just how that works when you point out how awful somebody is yeah That's what I thought. Okay. Anyway, got it. Cool. Found out what I needed to find out there really quickly. <laughs> Nonsense. They'll always be weaklings. They'll never have bars and they'll never be funny. Hmm. Crimson, I have no idea, but 
if they did, they'd probably say something like it was an honor to be buried there. And I'd be happy to be buried on it's a majestic golf course overlooking the 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 uh, beloved third hole at Donald Trump's fucking golf course. <laughs> yeah, they'd be all over it. Cool. I don't want to be near any of Trump's holes. Oh, yeah, I know, right? All right. Let's see. What else do I have for today that I want to talk about? Oh, we could talk about Gastonia. Fucking Gastonia. Uh, ah, we'll save that. We'll save that for Popo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, just know that um, North Carolina Police Department attacked a homeless veteran, tased his service dog, and then the dog ran off into traffic, and when people were trying to get it, it got hit by a car and died. While the veteran was in jail for bullshit, like absolute bullshit, the people there, fucking the the police department didn't want to release the footage because the footage completely is is fucking totally damning of them. It, it, everything they said initially, they're like, "Oh, he was doing this, and he didn't present it. He was panhandling. He asked them for money." All the local people were like, "He didn't do that." For everybody on scene, he didn't do that. The fucking, he refused to give ID, so the officer initiated contact. The veteran provided two forms of identification to the police officer. Um, and then they got physically aggressive and escalated and put hands on him, even though he was attempting to hand them his identification. They then tased his service dog because they were attacking its master. And fucking they tried to taser the dog and the dog ran out in traffic got fucking hit by a car and died and the cops fucking hauled the uh, uh the service uh the veteran in for no reason no reason yeah everything's been pro everything that was said by the on-site witnesses has been proven by the release of the 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 video evidence that the police department did not want to release i can't imagine why hey fotech Get on air and have a conversation with me or you're just going to catch a perma ban. We've been putting up with your bullshit since, uh, no, uh, September 17th of last year. And I got to tell you, between your pedo, uh, pedo jacketing of the LGBT community, your bullshit uh, uh, nonsense that you talk about, the fucking uh, pivoting, the bad faith, the fucking, uh, the stupid gender shit you do, the fucking, yeah, get on air and talk to me or you're just being removed from the community. I don't want to hear from you. So, bye. Because I know you don't have the balls to get on air. You don't have the balls. I've been dealing with you, like I said, for better part of a year. I know exactly what you're made of. So, make your smarmy last comment. Come on, make it good. Because you're going to be banned before you even get it on screen. Boom. Before it even came on screen. Uh, Fotech, you can't speak right now. You know what? Watch this. Fotech, I'll unban you. And then I'm going to put you on a shadow ban. Um, so here's the deal. Honest, sir, sorry, sir. I honestly didn't know I was such a detriment to your chat. I honestly only come in here to see your community side of things. Uh, no, you come in here to stir shit. You've been doing it since the beginning. 
I've got your entire chat log here. You can't gaslight me. You can't pretend. You can't bullshit me. You can't piss on my leg and tell me I'm, it's fucking raining. I've got your entire fucking chat log. That's what I did when you first came in and ran your fucking mouth, is that I pulled up a, a, your entire chat log history on this, uh, on this channel, dating back to September 17th of last year, the first time that you came in here and tried some pro, uh, pronoun bullshit. First, lo- first line first line attempting to misgender someone as sh- uh, he she or it right yeah I'm not bringing my management fucking page on screen plain and simple no admin twitch terminal pa- uh, panels are coming on screen ever that's not something I would do especially as a former IT guy Sorry. That's why pedophiles are now part of the LGBT plus community. Another one from Kentucky. Admits they're from Kentucky. God damn it, we have so many from Kentucky. Yeah. Anyway. Closing. Going back to what I was doing. Oh, oh God. You need to see the Las Cruces thing, the 75 year old. Jesus Christ, they shot a fucking 75 year old woman. Like, little little fucking just a grandmother you know just one of those little itty bitty jesus christ they're salty about paducah dude the fact that you fucking even do paducah's my make fun of make fun of dumb fucking bullshit rural redneck town place names i've been using that for years uh yakub the fact that you fucking use paducah love it love it good old kentucky When did the Lugabrita get in with the Republicans? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, fucking. Is this the same one we laughed at? Wait, hang on. I just had this fucking pop up to my feed. Are you okay? No, oh, you, you shot me. Oh, God. Are you okay? No, no, no. Same one. Same one. As soon as I clicked it. As soon as I clicked it. <laughs> Are you okay? No, you shot me. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, that is an amazing video. It's an amazing video. Uh, hey, inside Amazon's uh, leaked memo, by the way, <clears throat> special resolution. Um, fucking Amazon has a plan to, quote, neutralize unions by hiring ex-inmates and, quote, 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 vulnerable students. Oh, even better. Quote, some of Southern California's most vulnerable students. <laughs> oh, fucking A. They're planning on using the uh, optics of diversity hires and restructuring to undermine organizational efforts by unions. Probably economically public, but massive corporations... I mean, Amazon human trafficking coming when? Oh. I need to check on McKinney Fire too. Do we have like a map of that? Because that is a big ass fire right now. Um, the McKinney Fire in Northern California, if you're not familiar, uh, it's the it's California's largest fire. Yes, here's the incident map. Add a- so 
So currently only 55,500 acres in size. But that's, that's the McKinney fire. It's been going after three days. It's been upgraded. Oh, it's also killed a few people. It's not too bad, Caboose. Like so far, it's your state's largest one, but it's 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 still fucking only you know August. It's just August first. It's just kicking off. Fire season is just starting. Is it even? Um, hold on. Uh, yeah, I think they had a control percentage. Hang on. Uh, no, they don't actually. They don't have a control percentage on it yet. Um, and <clears throat> they got 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts from thunderstorm cells. They have a red flag watch extending into tomorrow because they've got lightning from thunderstorm cells and gusts of 30 to 50 miles an hour in the area. Um, 97th percentile probability igni of ignition from, th uh, from a lightning strike in the area is 90%. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. Good on you, Caboose. You're getting rain, even though you're sick. That's kind of never good. But um, it has been overcast. It's been, you know what? We've actually had a bit of a um, bit of a, a monsoon season this year, actually. Like, it, it actually kind of hit. It's not the best we've had, but it's still pretty good, actually. Let me check. So we've been overcast. Nope, the uh, desert afternoon sun burned a fucking hole in the cloud cover like a freaking laser. Or like um, that Psyche K guy in that anime we watched. Still one of the funniest fucking scenes. Just. Uh, been a while since we had rain for a few days in a row. I know, right, Dig? It's been nice. It rained in Vegas more recently than here. High anxiety for homeowners. Yeah, we've had more, uh, hang on, I'm working backwards. Yeah, we've had a burn ban for a month already in Oregon. Shit, that's impressive. Damn, guy, I saw the strip was flooded last week. Yes, yeah, we, I showed some of the, um, some of the video. Um, it, it, it was, it was kind of ridiculous. Um, yeah, there we go. There's two minutes. It was stupid. Deserts are pretty. Uh, is that a good anime? Public. I don't like fucking anime. All right, look. I, I don't like most animes. I'm a sucker for uh, for a dude with a sword. So you show me some like Roroni Kenshin shit, I'm down. Right, Samurai X for the U.S. people. Um, Kenshin Himura. Uh, original name Shinto. It's Shinta. Um, so he looks up to his master. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a sucker for a dude with a, like, a, a fucking sword or, like, some Yu Yu Hakusho shit. Uh, I'm down for, um, the Psyche K thing is hilarious. It's funny. It's legitimately funny. It's, the episodes are, like, five, six and a half minutes long. So there's, like, four episodes, um, in, in four or five episodes in an episode. There's like a hundred some odd episodes. Yeah, 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 public. They're great. It's great. It's great. Um, it's great. Netflix did a reboot of it. The, if, if they have the original, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, every single episode is like five episodes. Um, and they're hilarious. They're funny. It's super dry humor. Um, it's br like brutal. 
Um, you can find it online public. It's doable, and I'll go looking for you just in case. Fucking, if one of my people can, but one of the weebs, uh, Withers site had it. Fuck, if Withers still here, whatever your weeb, uh, fucking anime thing was, public fucking looking comments. I'll look on the Discord server. Don't put it in chat, please, and thank you. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's really good. It's funny. It's well done. It's a send up. It's a it's a parody of all anime. What? Uh, genuinely never been to a desert, but in the magic school bus was because they said that after rain the flowers come out. Is that true? <laughs> um, here I will show you what happens to. Here. This is what happens to the Atacama Desert when it rains. Uh, yeah, public. It's it's super dry, super fuck it. Like you, honestly, it's legitimately funny, well done, and he may be one of the most powerful characters ever written, literally. Um. So yeah, it doesn't that doesn't happen so much out here. We don't have those. Um. That's that's native to the Atacama. Um, but it very does. It, yeah, yeah. The desert springs to life when rain happens. Um, so anyway, here. Yeah, basically crimson. Yeah, they'll spring to life in an instant. Or cacti that are like super shrunk down, all of a sudden you're like, they're blown up. You're like, holy shit. No, beast, you don't. This water is disgusting. You don't want to touch it. Th what this dude here is doing, never, never. This water is disgusting. You look at Dig the native. No, 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 no. Gross. Yeah. Dude, you don't want anywhere near this fucking water. There you go, Crimson. This is what happens in our part of the world after heavy rains. Yeah, no, God Puck, exactly. Speaking of anime, we were talking about Devil uh, Devil Man Crybaby the other day, and I think you should give it a shot if only for the soundtrack. Yes, Devil Man Crybaby. What the fuck that is? But I'll open a tab for it. Um, bam. Okay, it's got a tab for two. Yeah, and so like you see the ridges, like you see on the, the cactus here, you see how it's sort of like, it's ridged in, it's ridged in like this, but right now it's sort of like this. As it uses its water, it literally does this. And when it, um, when it rains, it will literally swell up. And that's what it has done. So yeah, the drier the cactus, the ridges will be like this and uh, will be really narrow. And then as it rains and it gets more water, you'll see the it, it literally expand out. It's like an accordion. It's really, yeah, the, this, this cactus right here will collapse down and then expand out as soon as it rains. <laughs> in Spanish, they don't say syphilis needles. They say Las Vegas. Isn't that just beautiful? Yeah, Las Vegas is uh, uh, the meadows in English. For anybody wondering what Las Vegas' English name is, it means the meadows. Um, 
<laughs> Dig. Uh, it'd be interesting if Vegas and other desert cities end up being the only livable places and everything else turns into a desert. Yeah, because we're the only ones prepared for it. <laughs> we're the only ones that are like, yeah, we saw this coming a while. We live in a desert. Yeah. Exactly, Caboose. Um, we try and get you uh, like an up close of what it can look like. Somebody's had to have taken like a. Yeah, there we go. That's a good shot. There. So you can sort of see what we're dealing with. Yeah, and all this, like, all the, where you're seeing these, like, pockets, right? You see it come down to a V. All of that expands out. So this entire thing swells when it gets rain. And it swells fast. Desert plants are designed to take up water like that. Their root systems react hilariously fast. They're like sponges. They have massive root systems that oftentimes go deep. Um, but also wide at surface level too. Sort of the two different sur uh, stratagems for plants around this part um, that are conical and they run it to their roots. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> Dig. Also massive as fuck, so they find water. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's a unique biome with its own stuff. Um, it's just a land of extremes, that's all. Um, like any land of extremes, living in the desert is comes with its own things. All right. Stay in this territory and we'll let you in. My deck back here tree is pull, uh, currently pulling up my brick walk. <laughs> yeah, bro, walkway. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um... Oh, Roy Wood, Roy Wood Jr. I want to watch that. Um, after it being laid on purpose to let it move and grow. It didn't help. Sounds about right. Pfft. Wither, on behalf of Marcus, he has no idea how to turn off his lawyer brain whatsoever. Alcohol. He's got alcohol and that's it. That's his only strategy, I think. Love you, Marcus. Sorry I said some real shit. Uh, fun fact, in spite of their spines, Saguaro cacti are the most friendly of the cacti. Everything else will attach you and bother you forever. Oh, God. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Um, hold on. If you want to meet the worst cactus in the desert, in the world. Welcome to, as Caboose was already ahead, welcome to the Koya. This, this is a Koya cacti. This thing is for the love of God evil. This is, this is the most evil cactus. Um, so what you're seeing will break off in an instant. And when I, I say break off, I don't mean the spines, that entire arm, right? You see, you see down here how there's a, there's a segment here or there's a segment here. There are a segment here or a segment here or a segment here. This entire thing at the segment point will latch onto you and pull off. Oh shit. It will, and it will pull off a little bit rate drop there. Um, it literally will hook into your skin. It will drop and then it'll shove in even more needles. It's near impossible to get off you, your clothing. They've got barbs on them. You have to fucking one by one undo them. It, it, and as you get the mass off, the needles come off too. It, it, this is the worst fucking cactus in the desert. You, you barely you you look at one of these things weird 
and it's going to be attached to you. And this is a big one. When they're small and on the ground, see, they actually start off closer to sort of like little bush territory. This is what a Koya cactus actually looks like when it's first coming up, and they're very easy to rub up against. They're smaller, little bundles on the ground. Most evil cactus in our desert. Um, but, wanna see how they bloom? That's a Koya cactus. Uh, <laughs> That's a Koya cactus, not in full needle mode, in the prime, in blooming. They're gorgeous. That's the desert, in a nutshell, is they, it's gorgeous. But it'll murder you. Oh, this cactus is where why my father carried Leatherman in his pocket at all times. Yeah, you just gotta with it. Um, I seriously, I tell my people I'm gonna cover my helm with cacti when shit hits the fan, dude. A fucking, I mean, you ring your, you ring your yard with uh, koya cacti, dig? Ain't nobody fucking with that. Uh, I used to have a hatred for cacti as a kid. I fell on one when I was hiking. Thankfully, it was just a tiny single one and it only punctured my hand. Oof, crimson. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky. We have some really nasty cacti out here. Those things are evil devil for dogs like that, uh, that like hiking. Oh, yeah. Dude, a dog just brushes up against it. It's it's fur. Just a, the, the fur will hook the, the, the barb. And it will yank that, right? They fall off. I'm telling you, they use so little energy to like yank off an entire segment of this plant. They're like, oh, well, like that's attached. <sighs> now it's not. It's, it's, they're, they're so mean. They're so aggressive. Somebody made a cactus sausage or a sausage cactus or cactus. I hate it, folks. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Is this one of those Mr. Sausage things I've heard about? This is ordinary sausage. Um, yeah, he's he's making he's making uh, Nepalis sausage. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't kill you. It just makes you want to be dead. You'll kill yourself. Like, you'll kill yourself. Um, here you go. There you go, Wither. Oh. I did not appreciate the vast desert vast beauty when I was a kid. I wish I did more. Yeah, I know, right? I gotta tell you, we don't really like that. I, I, dig, 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 dig. Opinions on the Grand Canyon? I wasn't that impressed. Um, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. I don't know. I was like, it's a fucking ditch. Can I get to the bottom of it? I enjoyed being in the Colorado. I enjoyed rafting. I enjoyed like, yeah. Yeah, this is a gimpy gimpy tree. Um... If you brush up against this, you'll want to you'll want to kill yourself. Yeah, it, it's literally called the suicide plant. It, it, it's it's <sighs> insanely painful. Yeah, you it, it it is it is not in the category of like oh it's so bad it makes you want to kill yourself. No 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 no. People have killed themselves because of the pain of this plant. Not person. People. Okay? Horses have thrown themselves off of cliffs because they've rubbed up against this plant. 
the pain that the gimpy gimpy tree imparts to a human being is near unfathomable. When I say it will make you want to kill yourself, it will make you want to kill yourself. Uh, yeah, 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 he was. The dude who uh, used it to wipe his ass, yeah, he was one of the suicides. Yeah. How do people pronounce Yosemite? I mean, I've known about Yosemite my whole life, so I don't know how, what's the old Yosemite? Yosemite? Yeah, right? Where are you I yeah, I've never I've never heard an alternative pronunciation of Yosemite in my life. Australia Aspen. Australia. Yeah. Where where Aspen? There's a plant that makes you commit suicide. It hurts so much. Where do you think it is? Where do we keep shit like that? Come on. <laughs> Public Australia? At least one yes. <laughs> Aussie baby. Yup. Uh... No one I've ever heard say, uh, say it said it right in my life, except for people who like have been there. Wow. Fuck going into the back of the back. Everything wants to eat or kill you. What the fuck? <laughs> Deadly house spiders. Um, my mom's first language is Spanish, so Yosemite. We asked my dad, and he rolled his eyes at us. What's um? It's its actual origin. Oh, it's Miwok. Okay, it's Miwok. Uh, it's the, the Northern California. It's that fucking native language that was spoken in like Nor NorCal back in the day. It's, it's Miwok. Um, it means killer. Oh, it's, it's the name that the Miwok gave to the Awananachi uh, people of that valley. Okay. Previously, it had been called... Uh, Awanai, Big Mouth. Uh, the term Yosemite in Miwok is easily confusable with a term, similar term for grizzly bear, and is still a, mis a common misconception today. So there you go. The indigenous natives of, Yo of Yosemite called themselves uh, the Awanachi, uh, which means dwellers. See, that's, that's, again, I love all the indigenous names for themselves because it always just means, like, here, right? It's always, like, people or here or, you know, it's like, you know, that African tribe shit. Europeans ask them, like, well, what is the name of your people? And they're, like, people, right? Like, it's, it's, it's that sort of shit. And it's, like, oh, these people are known as the da-da-da-da, right? And it's, like, no, that just means people. Right, like it, all the time that shit happens. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, fucking what was their original? Their original name just meant them. Like, yeah, we live here. <laughs> like, what's what's your what's your people's name? We live here. Yes, but what do you call yourselves? I don't know the people who live here. <laughs> like, we didn't really have a name a need for this. <laughs> So your dumb ass, your dumb ass came and, you know, it, yeah, I love those examples of like, you know, oh, these plants are these, pl this plant is called a da 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 da, you know, and they, and, and they ask some like indigenous people from the area what it's called and the fucking, like the person who originally they spoke with was just like plant. Like, what's that? It's a plant. Oh, Okay write that down okay and how about that over there water so now all the rivers and ponds and fucking uh, like ocean is just named water you know it's just it's shit like that 
What did we, uh, oh, it's because we, Jungle, King of the Jungle. We looked this up for uh, Alliance. That was the last one we learned as a community. Um, when we looked up the fucking, how did the lion become King of the Jungle? It's because white people don't know what jungle means. It just means uninhabited area. It doesn't mean a jungle. It just, just means like place without people. And the savanna, the open savanna was a place without people. So the lions were kings of the jungle. It's just white people saying shit they don't know what they're saying. And so we ended up like, why is the lion I mean, the king of the jungle? The jungle doesn't even. We were like, oh, shit, we don't know what jungle means, apparently, in the native tongue. It just means without people. But we said it with confidence. Pablo, nine-tenths of the gig, man. Nine-tenths of the gig. Oh. I think that we could... I, you know what? I think we could probably fucking abstract. That's probably just a human thing. That's just a fucking human thing. I bet. I bet the Chinese got that with their indigenous people. I bet. I bet indigenous people had it with other indigenous people didn't speak the same language. I bet this is just basic linguistics and human experience. Like it probably you need a certain like a couple of factors. Personally, I believe jaguars. Uh, jaguars. Are we saying jaguars or jaguars? Uh, Jaguars are the lords of the jungle. Hashtag West Side. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, tigers. Tigers are the king of the jungle. Specifically, Bengal tigers from the, the Sunterland region of India, where they still have man-eaters. Those are the kings of the jungle. <sighs> I don't. I don't know who that is. Um. Uh, motherfucker, right there. Uh, white people got the luck in the first draw when it came to imperialism, so we got to misappropriate everyone's language first. Uh, just in the modern era. Ancient era it was not that way. Well, I mean, nowadays we might consider them why, but let's just say they were really, really swarthy. The people who are doing this, like the fucking recorded history territory, um, yeah, they weren't white initially. They're now. Not initially. It's absolutely true. Anasazi means our old enemies because they were asked who lives over there. <laughs> like they called themselves something else, but you know, yeah, it happens all the time. It's like, what's that? Dirt. Oh, okay. See, the, the the indigenous people around here have a name for this particular valley. You know, and it's a da-da-da-da. You know, and it's like, you know that means dirt, right? What? Yeah, it just means dirt. Like sacred dirt? No, dirt. I mean dirt. Your ancestors were stupid, and they asked our ancestors what this was, and our ancestors thought your ancestors were functionally retarded. So they said dirt. Because they didn't seem to know anything. They had to give them food and water and make sure they didn't die. So they treated them like children. So when they asked for things, uh, they asked about things by pointing at them. They told them the most basic concept. That's water. That's dirt. That's a, t that's a house. That's a person. <laughs> this is why we did a genocide. Embarrassment. <laughs> Public. Probably a little bit, actually. I bet there was at least one case. At least one case. There had to have been at least one case, right? Some dude fucking, like, murdered an entire village because, like, really, like, the, 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 the reason that pushed him over the edge on it. He's like, I could have done it anyway, but, you know, fucking statistically, it had to happen. You know, yeah, it fucking, like, the... The locals tried to fucking teach him how to ride a horse and he fell off and they all laughed at him. And he's like, that's it. We're genociding the village. Uh. <laughs> Had to have happened at least once. Hmm. This is what I don't like about the whole humidity thing. Condensation. Not my favorite thing. Condensation is obnoxious. I don't know how the rest of you people deal with this stuff. But I prefer being able to take things directly out of the freezer and not even have any condensation on it. Just a little frost that just magically goes away. 
It ruins furniture. Yeah, I know. I've got a couple of uh, like coasters here, insulated cups, but maybe restaurant wear. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, you know, yes, wither. I mean, the number one way we killed people wasn't even, I mean, it was that, but I mean, the, the way we like actively went after it was fire and stabbing. Uh, we would encircle villages and um, like draw the warriors out and to uh, like a fake fight. And then we'd go in and circle the village, light it on fire and murder the women and children. That's how our European ancestors did it. And then the, you know, warriors could come back to a burned village no resources, no wives, no fucking partners, no fucking children, right? It de totally demoralizes them, sends them on the warpath, creates like, you know, this caricature of a uh, uh, of a, an enraged indigenous person, right? And we get to, you know, stab them. What's up? What's up, Ir uh, Iravaj? Iravaj. Um... <laughs> Public, you say I don't wash my hands? Pulls out a gun. What's up, bitch? Um, remember, Public, you have to tilt it up and hold it sideways. You gotta, you gotta point it down at somebody. Okay, and you gotta like that. It's proper, proper form, so that when it it goes off, it does this to your wrist at an awkward angle that's sure to snap it. Gives a plus three to intimidation. Goddamn right. A uh, trail of tears was later, beast. That was a, tra a, tra a, tra a trail of tears was later. God, the fucking dude. The bit rate. Twitch has been doing this all night long. I've been looking at the fucking bit rate. It just, dude, it's all over the place. Down by half. Up. I even, I've even seen it, see it here at zero tonight. So. Uh, there's a lot of that in Africa. I love the walls of Benin, uh, Benin around the city of Benin, capital of the Benin Empire, all of which was just a French bastardization of a word meaning like local world people we have to give money to. Um, the Moors had to teach the Iberians how to wash their ass. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, Venetian blinds suck non-binary. 100%. I get it. I, I I don't have to like you you're you're fucking cleaning like a lot of them I'd imagine, but Venetian blinds are fucking obnoxious. For those of you who don't know what a Venetian blind is, it's these things. There you go, Venetian blinds. Um there's varying degrees of fucking, you know, high-end Venetian blind shit that no big deal. Uh, yeah, non-binary works in hospital. Non-binary, you should. You know what? Non-binary. After as much, uh, should Pelosi go to Taiwan now? War could break out, and Pelosi be on the front line. Oh darn! It, it's a band-aid that needs ripping off. Let's just fucking deal with the Taiwan thing and get it done with. We're, we're, we're another few years. Hopefully we won't have to fucking tiptoe around the, the, the Taiwan thing because you know, we're, we're actively trying to subsidize, um, nanostructure, uh, nano, uh, uh nanoscale micro. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Nanoscale micro, uh, silicon, uh, conductor technology, uh, manufacturing over here. That's what that bill was about. We've been trying to do this for the last like fucking decade. Um, so the Taiwan issue won't be as necessary as it is right now. Um, TSC is definitely super necessary for the modern computing platform. Um, so Taiwan super uh, semiconductor. Uh, if you're not familiar with TSC, should she go? Probably not. Somebody who isn't, you know, 
We need somebody who's actually like this side of a thousand years old and has a progressive bone in their body and isn't like a multi-millionaire many times over who uses insider trading and her husband to insider trade. I, this is the wrong person to be there. Should Pelosi go? No. Should someone go? Probably yes. Um, I just... God. She's got jugs and no morals now. I don't... Dude, I, what are you doing looking at Pelosi's tits? Oh my God. Not Nonsense. Are you Okay. Like, I've never even seen a photo. Like, every photo I've ever seen of her is like this up. Jesus Christ. What the? I'm trying to fucking look. I suppose she's got some, like, she got a, a fairly, I don't know, looks like, especially for her frame, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm binary. Yeah, she does seem like she's got a set on her, huh? Especially for her frame. Um, she even have tits. I've never looked as crimson. Exactly. Crimson. That's how I felt about it. I was like, I didn't, I've never once had the thought of Pelosi's tits in my head prior to fucking nonsense talking about fucking, there's a photo of Nancy in a swimsuit. I'm nah, good. I'm already gay. <laughs> I'm already aggressively gay. Like I don't, <laughs> I'm good. I, the last thing I need to see is Nancy Pelosi in a fucking swimsuit. Uh, wait one sec here. I'm not fucking clicking that link. Um. Oh, Caboose, they're probably fake, too. You know that, right? I, you probably don't care, but I'm just saying, like, you know they're probably fake. She's probably had a tit job somewhere along the way. She's a woman from California. <laughs> She's a multimillionaire. Um... Yep, not clicking that link either. Yeah, Zippy. Well, Zippy, what if she had him like a, a boob job like 30 years ago? Zippy. Like, I'm not saying she had one yesterday. I'm saying that like she probably had one fucking back in the 80s. Right? What does Pam Anderson's tits look like at present? See, I'm willing to look at that. Pam Anderson was... Jesus Christ, what happened? When was this updated? Dear sweet Jesus woman. She doesn't even look like the woman I remember her as. Like she legitimately doesn't look the same. All right, here. She kind of resembles her old self here, but Jesus. Uh, dude, it, it, dude, it's not.
Yeah, it's the Irish newspaper reporting that she tied the knot with her bodyguard uh, last year. Uh, Caboose, she had a lot of surgery. Yeah, it, well, I'll, I'll narrow that down for you, Caboose. Pam Anderson had all of the surgery. No, of course not. Nonsense. Um, I was, you know, Tommy, I remember Tommy Lee's dick. Uh, not thick, not girthy, but long. I remember when he used it to, like, drive the, the boat. It was funny. Pam Anderson is more surgery than woman now. Kind of is. Jesus. Um, past month. Where's... Uh, There we go. I mean, it's got some weird filter on it, but here. See, silicone based life forms are possible. This was Pam Anderson of my era. Pam Anderson is valid as a cyborg, even if she doesn't identify as one. Yeah, that's that's what I remember, right? Like, here's here's Pam Anderson. She she kind of was, but I mean, we all knew she wasn't a girl next door. Norma Jean was, um, and then she went all Marilyn Monroe on us. But early Marilyn Monroe, um, as you don't know, for for the for the children, Marilyn Monroe's name was Norma Jean Baker, um, and before she went all Marilyn Monroe up on that bitch, um, this is what she looked like. And then there is there she is. Oh, that's iconic. I'll take that photo. And there's Marilyn Monroe. She's in there. You can see her, but JFK motorboated that too. So did RFK. Yep. The Kennedy brothers fucking, uh, <clears throat> yeah. She looked like we're about to steal from an 18 wheeler. <laughs> Hair do you make up lighting? It's amazing what it does. Yep. Gentlemen prefer one specific blonde. <laughs> she she did have a tough life. I don't think so. Uh did you hear the rumor that RFK was with her when the when she died? I mean, there's that rumor's been around for a lot of years. Yeah, I, I non-binary. I followed you through. It just it didn't pay off for me. Sorry. Um, did Aspen say back a ways? Aspen didn't say anything. Oh, Botox is one good for you. Yeah. Um. Oh, Aspen literally said that. Sorry. 
Um. Oh, here. Here you go. Here's your cursed sign for the day. Good luck. Again, file this under I dealt with it, so so do you. There you go. Hmm. Is JFK stand for Jesus freaking Christ? Um, no. No, it stands for Horn Dog Extraordinaire. There we go. Uh. <sighs> Isn't it great? Rules of signs. That's there because someone complained. <laughs> took a few. It took a few. Pay attention to comma delineation and word layout. <laughs> oh, I'm being tagged somewhere. Um. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I came over for this zippy. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate you, zippy. <laughs> you evil, evil person. Uh... Yeah, I figured you'd enjoy that. Now. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. So <laughs> Um Somebody probably got rowdy when they gave his wife a children's menu and stuff of margarita. Oh. Um hello children, look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me, but if he lived in a red state, you could switch to old spouse. Um Funny, since unlike Lincoln, JFK was pretty bitch president with a way better Johnson after him. And no, I'm not talking about that dude. He probably fucked long term. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Aspen, it does. But it doesn't. Um, all right. I'm going to show you a video. But first, I want to take a hit because this video is funny. And I want a good chuckle. And we're going to go into gun mode here uh, for a second. Uh, we're going to talk about guns. We're going to talk about China. We're going to talk about manufacturing techniques. We're, we're going to talk about how, uh, how uh, um, Chinesium, if you're familiar with the term Chinesium, how Chinesium it, it transcends just simple raw product. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Hey now. Sounds like the next old spice course. Uh Oh beast, I fucking dude beast, I bleached my hair white basically. Um most uh, a, a lot, a lot from like 15 to like 24. Yeah, I have really good hair by the way. Um Aspens, because you're like on dad duty and shit like that. But here we go. Give me one sec. This is dude, this video is hilarious. Yin and yang, dig. Yin and yang. You're my beard, babe. <coughs> All right. So. Be one sec. <coughs> Cat, close a few things. Ah, oh, all right. 
<clears throat> now, this is a Chinese made QBZ 191 automatic rifle. Okay. This is a chambered 5.8 by 42 millimeter. Um, I think it's a Narinco. You know, it's 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 designed and manufactured by Narinco. Um, this is the new generation service rifle for the People's Armed Police and the People's Liberation Army. <coughs> hey, Karina. This rifle was designed and announced, um, formally being revealed at the 70, 70th anniversary National Day Miller, Military Parade in 2019. Um, so why are we talking about it? What's special about the QBZ 191? Well, other than being a point of pride for the, the, the military industrial complex of China and a point of pride for the sort of the uh, the 70th celebratory you know anniversary of the the national day right it's the military parade for the national day it's the anniversary nation nation day right like it's it's that this rifle is to commemorate 70 years of fucking you know nationhood and is supposed to be the forefront for you know the design a weapons design personal you know, combat system design for china this is their cutting edge all right let's see it in action all right anybody 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 from this distance to the opposing wall okay not a big space not a big space not a big space there we go we got a couple of people beast beast Beast. Beast gets to it. Few people where the holes aren't round. Yes, Beast. The G the QBZ191 cannot deliver a round reliably on target, spun correctly from about 20 feet. It's tumbling the bullets. Oh, it's rifled, Caboose, so poorly, so badly, that it tumbles the bullets. Yeah. I would love to get my hands on one at this point. I would love to get my hands on one at this point. <clears throat> okay. So, do they have to unpack the gunpowder separate too? Tech, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, Melissa Karen, we did. We showed it on air. 1.5 centimeter difference. No way it doesn't make a difference. It, it, oh my God. We went through it. Um, you do better. You're gonna be doing better if you threw the bullets. Um, yes. So for the the, the non-gun people, um, let me let me let me let me just introduce you to the reason that your bullet. Okay, you know that thing that they show in the beginning of James Bond, that weird thing that that circular overlay. That's not a camera lens, by the way. That's that's bullet rifling. Um, so here is rifling. This is looking down a barrel. 
there's a sp- set of grooves that are very specifically, it, they are so engineered, okay? B- rifling is super important. Lots of math, lots of physics. A lot of fucking work goes into figuring out the rifling for a caliber and a rifle set. It, 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 it's, it's ridiculous. It's a series of grooves that are cut symmetrically down the barrel. And when the bullet passes through it, what you end up with uh, there we go. No, not a rifle bullet. I want a rifled bullet. Thank you, please, and thank you. That'll work. <clears throat> what you end up with are these distinctive grooves on the side of the copper because it literally cuts into it. The bullet gets driven down the barrel and these cut into the side of this malleable soft co- uh, copper jacketing or the lead. Um, and so what you see is these grooves. It is literally spinning this bullet. It Just like that. Just like a football. And that centrifugal spin, that centrifugal force is what delivers it on target. It's what allows the bullet to not just tumble and fall at a target, but head straight at a target. It fucking just spins through the air. Bam. This is what gives the bullet its power. Because as it spins through that air, it's cutting through the air, right? It's, it's piercing it. When it tumbles, oof, oof, getting hit by the air. Every time that end comes up, every time there's a geometry change, poof, poof, getting hit by the air resistance over and over and over. When a bullet tumbles, it loses most of its force. It loses its stopping power. So, <clears throat> at most 20 feet, at most 20 feet. This was their promo footage. This was their promo footage. This was their promo footage. They were they put this on their own channels saying, hey, look at this baller ass shit we're doing. Ain't these guys badass. Look at our well-trained, well-equipped cops and fucking soldiers using the best of the newest gear that we make. This is, you know, fucking this is the PLA and the PAP's fucking gun. And this is all of our fucking shit, right? This is this is what they chose. This is what they chose. Yes, tech support. This is what they sanitize. Yes, this is what was chosen to be put out. Look, I'm a fucking anarchist. I'm going to sh- two shits about fucking America or fucking Europe or any of this dumbass bullshit. But if I have to put up with one fucking co- more conversation with a tanky who's like, Russia and China would fucking decimate America in a fight. Are you shitting me? Our fucking tank barrels, our, uh, our automatic gun barrels are at least symmetrically drilled. And our fucking rifles deliver a rifle round on target without tumbling. Jesus Christ, you're not even in our fucking league. I don't give a shit about the NFL, but this is like somebody who's a fan of their like pop warner football team telling me that they could fucking go up against the i don't know fucking choose one cowboys patriots tigers i don't give a shit like you know it's like what are you talking about you're delusional you're delusional these people do not operate in the same realm their fucking aircraft carrier is a converted casino ship it was a fucking floating casino they converted to an aircraft carrier Right? Like, their, their fucking automatic rifles tumble bullets on, on target. Like, this is, this is not the same team. This is not the same league. It's not the same league. 
Like, it, this is... When we're dealing with problems, by the way, right? Sorry. Like, we got real problems. We got a real military-industrial complex. We got the military-industrial complex. You know that, right? When people talk about the military-industrial complex, that's that's Eisenhower. General President Eisenhower warning us about the military industrial complex, right? Like the, the fucking, the, the, it's, it's, the thing is us, right? Like we do weapons, we build weapons, we design them, we fucking, <laughs> we use them and we sell the shit out of them. We are the world's largest weapons dealer, <laughs> right? That, that, it, that's bad fucking product. Right, if we were putting out product like this, it wouldn't it wouldn't be marketable. Right? Like we we this America fucking operates on brand integrity, right? And our weapons do the job. When people need shit to like go boom, you know the ours is like their their ultimate ask, right? Like look at shit like Ukraine. They're like, yeah, oh, we'll take weapons from anybody like in Europe or wherever fucking Africa wants to send us just that'd be great. But, you know, everybody was like they were they were salivating. They were like just waiting for the check. They were waiting for the the the, the store credit because that's what America did. You know that, right? Like we handed them store credit. We're a right, hundred million dollars in, you know, fucking for this sort of thing. 800 million for this sort of thing. And then they get to choose. They don't get top shelf items. They can't pull an F-22. They can't pull an air, uh, you know, an air carrier group. They can't pull like, you know, that sort of shit. But they're like, you know, okay, everything, you know, like mid shelf and down, you know, here's the store credit card. We've authorized you for, you know, 800 million in house credit. That's <clears throat> when people want weapons in this. Yeah, they shop the wholesale. Yeah, when people want weapons in the global scale, when a nation state really wants shit, um, no, they wouldn't let them have the F-35s either, I don't think, at this point. They, they, they'd require them to be trained on them first. That is a requisite. You have to go through our training program, which costs money, too. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, like, they, they want the top-shelf stuff. They want the American-made weapons. That's... You want that shit. You want those predator drones. You want the fucking global communicate. You want that radar system that spans the horizon. You want the interconnected network stuff. You want the fucking drone strikes you can do from halfway across the globe. You want the, like, that's what everybody's after. They want those fucking targeted weapon systems. They want that next gen shit, which we sell. We got that good, good, you know? And that's what America does. We're a weapons dealer. We sell a lot of fucking weapons. We build a lot of fucking weapons. And yet, I look at that video of the Chinese fucking, the, uh, the QBZ fucking 191. It's, it's hilarious. If America put out a product like that. Oh, no, no, tech support. We've, we've started shipping some. Yeah, we started shipping some. Some of, the, some of the receivers have been getting theirs. Yeah. They're out there. They're out there. Other countries are operating them. The key generator satellites are running, <clears throat> which every time I want to bring this up, just like this is the most hilarious thing. Rumble, thanks for the sub. Um, here's here's the thing. Um, they're DRM'd. Our F-35s are DRM'd. It's hilarious. It's the funniest thing going. The F-35s, except for Britain and Israel, I think those are the only two countries. Somebody else may have gotten one so far, but Britain and Israel have the key generator systems. Um... All other F-35s, if you see, like, Australia bought this many F-35s or fucking, you know, uh, Croatia is buying some F-35s or, you know, a fucking a whole bunch of people are buying F-35s from us, actually. Um, you know, what, what those F-35s do is they bounce a satellite network and they ask, they come back to the U.S. over a secured communication system and they ask for authorization to fly. Um, if we for whatever reason you violate anything with us or you're in the area and we don't want you operating there we can just like lock your planes to the ground they don't fly they don't turn on that's that's the f-35s are drm'd yeah britain and israel have key generators so they can authorize their own flight systems <clears throat> drm fighter jets guess that takes care of ransomware 
Uh, was the twist rate comparable to an AR-15? Uh, like, how do you fuck this up? Dude, dude, cast that rifle is hilariously bad. It's hilariously bad. And the fact that it's, they're, they're like fucking, uh, you know, it's like how many bad versions of this have they p cranked out? Because you know somebody got the contract and blah, 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 blah. Um, can we kill it mid-flight? Beast? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what, dude, that's, that's highly co like classified information. The nature and limits to which the, the key generator system for the F-35 fighter jet operates upon. Yeah, no, I, dude, I don't know that shit. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's deep in the tech that they, they never disclose shit like that. Um, if I had to wager a guess, yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. It's a military asset. This isn't some consumer product, right? You go to war with us, we will we will drop that plane out of the sky mid-use. Fuck around and find out. I mean, we're talking about the American military industrial complex for fuck's sake. Would they fucking, can we, can we kill it mid-flight? Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. I, I bet we can do it to the British and the Israeli ones as well. I bet there's not an F-35 out there that we've sold that we can't just drop out of the sky. Why would we not? Why would we not have that capability? Why would you not have that capability? Whether, look, <clears throat> it's military hardware. I'm sure they go over it. I'm sure the receiver countries go over it. I'm sure, dude, <clears throat> but we're talking the biggest of bigs. I mean, we're talking literal military industrial complex hundred million you know hundreds of million of dollar like assets that that have the ability to fly stealth that have the ability to just take off wherever they, they stand that, that have the ability to drop at like fucking guided missiles on targets halfway across the fucking globe like these things are for real for real like this is the top tier of fuck around and find out right do we have the ability to drop them out of the sky? Probably. <clears throat> yeah. Why wouldn't you? Um, biggest budget. We let people die for this shit. Of course it's the best. I'm sure they're purchased knowing they cannot be used against the U.S. Oh, yeah, Crix. It's in the conditions for sure. Like, you have to know. Like, this thing, like, if you ever try and use it against us. <laughs> Yeah, if John Deere can turn off stolen tractors, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Fucking Lockheed Martin and the you, uh, the U.S. DoD can do to a fucking F thirty five mid flight? That if you fucking pull the trigger, they probably just turn the missile around and send it back your way anyway. I, I it's military asset. That shit is the tech on that shit. Hmm. Don't fuck around. You will find out. They play for goodsies. Uh, good point. And I assume the related network is pretty secure. So no one just drop and get a mass kill code to all threat device. No, it's the NSA will handle that. Uh, the, the, the security for those comms. Yeah, it'll probably be routed through. I don't know if the NRO would. Uh, it's probably just through Milnet. Um, themselves, it's going to be through the DoD's uh, own secure uh, satellite comm network. But the the encryption and security will be handled by NSA. That's usually how that demarcation occurs. Uh, <clears throat> Biden's rep just said they don't support Taiwan independence. They crossed the line. Holy shit! We never. That's Biden's rep just fucked up a m decades long game we've been playing. Holy shit. It's actually big news. We 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 play a game with Taiwan. We we don't say one way or the other. We just like we're aware of China's displeasure. We we we, we acknowledge it, but we continue to operate in Taiwan. It's been that way for decades now. It's been our official policy. Uh, so Biden's rep just said they don't support Taiwanese independence, which is a change of position. It's a, ch it's an official. Oh God. It's John Kirby. Wait, this motherfucker. <sighs> oh, 
Well, it was the last fucking thing I had to put up with your goddamn ass from. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're one of those admirable, admiral assholes. He's fucking Secretary of Navy asshole. But... Oh! Oh! Oh, this motherfucker right here. This motherfucker right here. Oh, yes. Yes! Yes! McCain fucking schooled this bitch, even. All right, so he, this guy was fucking, it, like, December 2013. Here you go. Fucking, he's appointed press se Pentagon press secretary by Chuck Hagel. That's another name you'll be fucking familiar with. Um, he, was, he was maintaining that the U.S. was winning its war against the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, and John McCain called him an idiot. Which, however you may feel, fucking about John McCain knowing what we know right somebody standing up there being like oh we're winning the war against the Islamic State and in Iraq and Syria and fucking John McCain's is like you know somebody fucking puts a mic in his face and goes how do you feel about this and he's like he's an idiot right like thank God for some brevity and truth from uh, from a conservative like, fuck yeah, he's an idiot. This, this motherfucker has been around. Oh, yes. He said some base shit about some women, but that's about it. Repeatedly said that we oppose any unilateral changes to the status quo from either side. We have said that we do not support Taiwan independence. And we have said that we expect cross strait differences to be resolved by peaceful means. Ah, oh, you dummy. Ah. Oh. God damn it, this motherfucker. Oh, well, nice nice to see Kirby still out there uh uh still out there fucking stuff up for us. Yeah. Uh, guys, I thought my house was on fire right now. Wait, what? Came outside. Um, freaked the fuck out. My whole backyard filled with smoke. Neighbor across the main street got something on fire. Two of my neighbors on the street houses caught fire, so I freaked the fuck out. Well, dig, I'm glad your house isn't on fire. Um, uh, wonderful. Well, we've just, um... We have just shown how fickle, not even fickle, how self, truly self-serving we are. We're signaling to Taiwan. We, um, we're starting to fund semiconductor manufacturing. We're going to subsidize it here in this country. We're finally making the moves for it. Um, and we just signaled to Taiwan that we don't intend to support any independence movement there. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, yeah. I don't care that they're conservatives, Pelicano. Why is your parents' house completely burnt? It's in a wildfire area. And I mean, that sucks. No matter what. We said, I'm a haul at you, though. Yeah. I, dude, Walata. That's a kind of short sighted move. Classic U.S. Classic U.S. It's very much 
Classic. <laughs> yeah. U.S. Ustupado. Fucking, it just... God, we are fucking dumb. Yeah, this is just the administration showing how bumbling they are. Yeah. Like, this is just, this is just poor statesmanship. This is poor statesmanship. That's all this is. This is just... God damn it. <laughs> You're not supposed to... Your timeline is wrong. You support them until you get it built. You get the first batch out. You see how stable your production line is. You see, fuck, we're, we're three, five years out. Like, even if we fast track some of this stuff, we're still two to five years out. Um, <laughs> God, we suck. We just suck. Uh, I tech support. Yeah, he was this inept, but like I mean, levels. Yeah, he was this inept. I mean, the the trade war, the fucking tariffs, the fucking. I mean, there was a whole bunch of shit that he was like, God damn it, he doesn't understand the basics of how to like do any of this. It seems like so. He's making rookie mistakes. This is dude, this is kind of fucking. I want to know what I want. I legitimately want in. I want in on the conversation now. Like even as an anarchist, I'm just curious as like a politically minded individual. Like how did you make this decision? Did he misstep? Was this fucking Kirby again being a fucking moron? Or it, did somebody literally tell him to say this? Is this? I mean, like was that on the paper? Because if that was on the paper, I got questions. What are you doing distancing yourself? What are you doing destabilizing Taiwan while we still... What are you doing shifting the official narrative that we've established that has given us this sort of like... Sort of nebulous position that allowed us to work both sides of the aisle the way we have? Uh, what are you doing kowtowing to China? What are you doing giving China an easy win like this? What is going on? Like, this is just, this is, this is somewhere along the way. This is either official ineptitude or this is Kirby being a fucking idiot. Yeah, like, who, who, uh, uh, um, no, uh, d oh, dig. Oh, you were probably dealing with the, uh, the house fire. We were dealing with John Kirby. He's a former admiral, um, fucking, he's held many positions. Um, but he, um, he's the current, like, communicator for the, uh, the NSC, the National Security Council in the White House. And he stated that, um, the U.S. doesn't consider, uh, we, we don't support Taiwanese independence, like this sort of thing, and change the official position. It's, 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 it's got a bunch of ramifications as a result of, like, how... Yeah, it's it, it's got a whole bunch of socio like socioeconomic ramifications, both for Taiwan and especially economic ramifications on our side. Because our what well, we are starting to we we're working on the fucking subsidies for the the uh, the uh, silicon manufacturing here. We need the the equivalent to Taiwan's uh, semiconductor uh, co uh, company. We need a TSC uh, TCSC here. We. Um, we don't have it yet. We're finally getting legislation through, it looks like, that will fund and subsidize this. Because the fact of the matter is, is the majority of the uh, the microcontrollers, the semiconductors, the, the, the processors that make the drive that run our world. Yeah, it's a really, really specific manufacturing process to make a lot of this stuff. And it requires very specialized facilities and very specialized people to work said facilities. <laughs> um, and we are reliant upon a region of the world that is well, well within Chinese control. And I mean, let's face it, Taiwan itself is a rocky, weird history. Um, do you think China want, just want the land, Taiwan? Or anything? No, they want... They, dude, it's China. Taiwan, if you don't know, Taiwan is probably the real Chinese government. You know that, right? 
like it's a long story but the long and short of it is when like a bunch of changes came in the fucking commies fled like the 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 in situ group fled bunch of them fled the party fled to uh, taiwan and then this whole dengus fucking reform situation in china and it, it's honestly there's like there's 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 an argument to be made that taiwan is the actual seat of governance for china um it was decided at a un meeting by the way this was decided at a un meeting yeah it's a government in exile yeah this was literally just a un commission meeting where they decided that whether Taiwan was going to be the government in exile, whether they were going to be recognized as the seat of Chinese power, or whether it was going to be Beijing. And they decided Beijing. It was a UN meeting. That's it. Um, so, yeah, like, it's, it's, a very, it's a very weird thing, the, the situation with Taiwan and, uh, and mainland. Because they're not, they're not after them just for the economic and sort of like the, the regional port access, the commercial entities, the, the, the reliance upon the semiconductor manufacturing processes there that the rest of the world has. Like it's a huge economic win for them to control Taiwan, but it's also a sociological win. They, this is, this is a win-win for them. Like this is, yes, we are recognized as your leadership you are no longer yeah this is this is a big win for them boom we're working on it but it's not we're actually finally working on it it seems like the bill has passed um from what i understand um is it passed senate oh god let me check congress passed it okay congress passed it um Yes, uh, it's it's aimed at belt at boosting U.S. semiconductor production. Um, it's going to send, hold on, tens of billions, fifty billion in funding um, for I I incentives and fifty billion in funding. So there's like tax breaks and shit included as well. Um, so like anybody who sets up domestic semiconductor manufacturing as well as semiconductor R&D that is going to be like equivalent to the gold the, the current sta uh, world standard um, in the in the US there's 50 billion dollars on the table for like helping you build and set that up as well as like we'll give you tax incentives and tax breaks and stuff to do it. Um, so we are finally making moves on that. That's a long time coming. Um, other, it needs to be somebody else other than Taiwan because Taiwan's problematic. I mean, we're problematic. Fucking, we're going to do world. It will shift it to us. Right. And then it's going to just be another thing that the U S hegemony has to leverage the rest of the world with. It's like, Hey, do you want to buy your fucking chips through China now? Or do you want to buy it through us? So it's going to be a whole fucking thing, but domestic production is years out. It's years out. We just passed that. So for us to be destabilizing the relationship with Taiwan, is so premature uh if it's anything but five nanometer or better risk five we're investing in dead tech yeah it's tech support i've seen that they're like there seems to be some sort of like you push for it to be equivalent to the taiwanese production level that's that was the intent of the bill look we all know we'll probably end up building fucking 12 nanometer um, <laughs> I like it. I like it. This is exactly how this is. This is exactly how capitalism works. Dude, this is just how capitalism works. Capitalism is reliant upon the state. And so the U.S. is trying to get the Dutch supplier. Apparently, there's a, a, a maker of the equipment for producing the chips. They, the U.S. is just like, hey, could you stop selling that equipment to China? What? Yeah. We're going to need you to stop selling that, that chip making equipment to China. Like, why, 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 why should we outcompete them if we can also undermine their production? <laughs> 
It's how you play. It's how the game is played, kids. Welcome to Capitalism 101. You get the state involved. It's how it works. Uh, Rex, we out, uh, we, uh, we outsourced everything. To answer your question, Rex, yeah. We outsourced everything about a, a bunch of fucking uh, capitalistically driven fucking egomaniacal politicians went along with uh, venture capital and, uh, and a, a, they basically offshored everything. Yeah. We created a vacuum. Uh, tech support I mean look we'll see what we'll see what they do we'll see what they do it's not the first time the US has had to sprint on something like that um, whether we're capable of doing it anymore I don't know but like I said it, you know Took us a decade to put somebody on the moon, basically. When none of that technology existed, right? There's no, there's no, like, come on. If you really want to as a nation state, look at what China does. Look at what China does. If the U.S. really wants to just catch up and exceed, we'll just steal everybody's secrets. What do you think the CIA is there for? I'm not joking. Like, think about this as like a neoliberal hyper capitalist. Involve the nation state. If this matters, is this a matter of like national security? Is it a matter of like, is the economic, is the, 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 the chipset uh, technology and is that integral to your, your modern economy? If it is, then you involve the nation state and you start engaging the intelligence apparatus. Steal whatever you need to steal. Get the job done. No big deal. Deny it post, uh, you know, post hoc and call it a day. <clears throat> See, now that is a question. Because I think. that that mining let's look because purified silicon uh, is a different sort of ball game but we only want the crystals so use uh, was it the Chakrowski uh, method, method or whatever for re refining but where can we pull those? Where are those mines in general? Because, I mean, you make a decent point. I'm fucking, is that scrolling by? Yeah, um, Andrew. It could be Andrew. Um, China can stop exploring the, the silicon, but... Um, okay, so... Site mines... Uh... Production, because purified silicon, which is the basis for uh, most of that material, is derived from quartzite. Quartzite is the 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 mining material that you're after. Um, India's on board. India, Spain, Brazil. Even us. We're the sixth largest producer in the world. China's China's number one, but not by a lot. Turkey is like an easy number two. India is about half the production of China, but a lot easier to deal with. Um, even, I mean, Modi loves Trump. We know how to deal with that. So fucking, yeah. India, uh, Brazil. I mean, we're already on decent terms with them the u.s germany italy canada norway hey ukraine's even on the list they're the world's 12th largest supplier i mean before the war i suppose
The Middle East has it too. Huh. Yeah, India seems to like the go-to. India, okay, so Ikben Andrew. The uh, the answer for that is um, the refined silicon product that you use is usually derived from a quartzite mine. And the, the uh, no, I'm looking at quartzite. The, metamor the hard metamorphic rock, astral. That. I know you like to like try and like, I'm a better sciencer than everyone. I'm looking at quartzite, the metamorphic rock. Are you like, you want the quartz sand? Yeah, you're after the silica sand. We want the, ref we want the, you know what? I'm not doing this right now. Either way. Wait, Gemma. Did I miss you, Gemma? Where did Gemma go? I saw Gemma. No, I didn't. Oh, Jesus. Um, boiling the frog. I could have sworn. I could have sworn I saw Gemma. Either way, I don't care. Um, even if. Look. Who has the best silica sand mines? Um, it looks like uh, Artesio Global probably has the best ones of those. Indonesia? That's a long way away. Who's closer? Holy shit, try Minnesota. Hmm. Where is this? Where am I? What is this place? St. Genevieve. No mention of where the fuck this place is. Um... Dude, we got a lot of those mines. If all we need is silica sand, we got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. Yeah. Dude, do you know how many silica sand mines there are in the world? Jesus Christ. Oh, hey now, close. Yeah, this is even more of a non-issue. Hmm. Okay, so Canada. Canada. Mount Moberly. They produce high uh the uh the white high grade silica. Canada. It's in our backyard. Our supply line's in our backyard, and we already have um trade agreements in place with them. Cool. Either way. Manufacturing process is fucking totally doable from this continent. So, we're just years behind now. Now we just have to actually catch up on the economic game. And like I said, if it matters, the nation state gets involved. It's capitalism. Just steal the tech wherever we need to. Seems like the highest grade on the continent is up in Canada. If we wanted the purest shit. Silicon, not silicone, silicon. We've got electricity, we've got carbon. 
we've got the highest grade coal in the world. So whatever form of carbon you need, we can pump that out and we've got plenty of electricity. We're energy and we're energy independent. So who cares? That's, I mean, that's the, the truth of the matter is, is that love it or hate it, which, you know, the U S is well positioned for this next little run. Beast, we don't we don't just need the facilities. We also need the uh, people to work the facilities. We need the the brains to go into it, which is going to be a thing. We'll steal what we need to steal, right? We'll hire people away with lucrative contracts and citizenship deals if necessary. Um, but it's still you know it's a process. This is a process that should have been started years ago, probably. But it shouldn't have been okay. We outsourced everything. That's 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 it. What an orphan glass. Orphan. It is that. Yeah, and I'm pres I'm assuming that the U.S. has access to all of these resources, understands this chemistry and can replicate it on scale anytime we so choose. So that, that's sort of, that's the, it's the depth of the understanding we need of this process. Job done. We can just knock this out probably. OTI. Is the Texas Instruments calculator scam still being run on students? Are they still requiring people to buy a TI 84 and shit like that? They still, is it still a thing? TI 84. Still a thing. Hundred bucks. <laughs> yes, my kid had just had to get one. I love that they're still running that scam. That's hilarious. In the era of like <laughs> Micro you know Microsoft has a calculator that can work off of like handwritten formulas and shit. Like you just it'll just figure it out for you and it'll explain the process too because it's supposed to be like a learning calculator like the app was considered cheating yeah of course it was <laughs> you're not gonna always have a calculator in your pocket <laughs> then I get a fucking calculator that literally can just take a picture of the f of the fucking formula itself and solve it and explain it to me. And they're like, well, you can't. What? No, you can't use that. Why not? It's ubiquitous technology. It's like denying me a pencil at this point. You should be able to carve it in with your fingernail. Why? I'm allowed an eraser. Like, we're not against technological innovation. Like. <laughs> bitch, I'm not going to always have a calculator in your pocket, bitch. I'm literally have every calculator in my pocket at every single moment. 
Yeah. <laughs> These are all literally all the times where you have to use a calculator or die. Fuck it. I mean, who's going to do any, like, real calculations and not be running them electronically? Right? Like, we literally used Lua for fucking scientific subscripting technologies at this point. Like, the calculation sets that Lua enables various scientific entities around the world to do are ridiculous. Dude, we fucking code things all the time. There's bespoke scripting languages just for scientific uh, plotting. Like, for it, it, so I, I don't understand the resistance. We automate all that thing. Do I think World War III will happen tomorrow? No. You're pretty good on that front. Watching without audio. It tells us that now. Why would I even fucking... <laughs> boom. Love it. Boom. Yeah. Sure, why not? Did we, though? Did we? I mean, I suppose we. We breached the planetary surface, right? We, we managed to get off the planet. That's not bad as a species. Yeah, it's pretty good. We didn't manage to survive off planet, but, you know. Oh, nice, Cass. Nice. Yeah. Fuck, I got lucky on the calculator scam. Well, got left lost and found in my school. My dad scooped it up for me. <laughs> Let him. Let him. Let him. China takes first strike on a sitting senior U.S. congressperson who's also rich, by the way. Okay. That'll be an interesting headline to wake up to. For sure. I mean, what's going to be the global response to that? People have been sick of fucking China for a little bit in most of the Eurocentric nations. Africa, on the other hand, is probably going to be kind of... Actually, they might... Depending on how much damage is done to China, they might be able to let off the hook for a bunch of stuff. Who knows? They might be for it as well. Um, uh, tanky fucks think that... Uh, oh, yeah, because there's more in the army, meaning China will win in the long run. Oh, I bet China's got a lot of that sort of like Russian military problem with a lot of the conscripts and shit like that. And a lot of people that don't want to be there. Probably a lot of corruption amidst the ranks. China's got corruption problems. They've got, they've got, you know, they've got leakage at every level. I mean, we have leakage at every level, but it seems like the system's built around it. They're like they, they, they sort of plotted for a certain amount of leakage. Um... But, like, Russia, you know, like, military supplies weren't showing up because somebody took a cut somewhere, right? Shit like that, like, mm, can't be having that. And, I mean, we've seen what, like, Chinese construction projects get up to. You gonna count on that? Mm, probably not. I, I, I don't I don't think China's stupid enough to try and knock Nancy Pelosi's plane out of the sky when she's trying to fly to fucking Taiwan. Especially with our, our fucking idiot NSC spokesperson just uh, stating that we don't support Taiwanese independence. There's no point to that. You already got your win today. Is China already got their win today. Like, Pelosi won't matter. Later, Karina. Good luck. Blame 
climate on North Korea. Now, I, I mean, that's an option. I'm pretty sure we'd probably get to get to the bottom of it, though. Switzerland, Germany also produced some. Looks like we got Ray Attack here in this country. Ah, uh, but they're a man you. Trump would give Kim a medal. He would. Um, bullshit, no way it was North Korea. There must have actually hit. Well, based on what I've seen from the Chinese assault rifles understanding of basic rifling, I'm not 100% certain that the Chinese made, ma uh, made weapons at this point <laughs> are, are necessarily designed to uh, impact the target. They're they're launched at oh I don't yeah oh Jesus when was this how recent how recent was this Voting the, the day that we lost but, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver. You're not ruling anything out. Good morning. What Sunday the morning? What the fuck? Good morning. All right. The, uh, the, 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 the we have a responsibility. It states. I, I can't. The, this, the, this we have hurts. a responsibility. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's about right. Yeah. <laughs> Caboose. Uh when your wires get crossed live. I have I have. <laughs> Fair enough, non binary. <laughs> She's not a wizard. Please don't give in to David Icke conspiracies. These people aren't lizards. They're just greedy, dumb, narcissistic, sociopathic human beings. That's it. It's not that complicated. There's no aliens. There's no lizard people. It's just people suck. Here, I'll prove it to you. This photo was taken of a group of approximately 4,000 people gathered outside Landsberg Prison. They were there demanding amnesty for the literal hundreds of Nazi war criminals that were being kept in that prison. When these people, some of them children, were when they were finally um, faced with Jewish 
and Jewish supporting counter protesters, the 4,000 strong group became aggressive, began chanting Nazi era slogans at them, and then attacked them. Fair enough. People just sort of suck. <laughs> it's a lot of scalps to collect. Yeah. I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that a lot of fucking people would be Nazis. something for that. <sighs> okay. Oh. Perfect. Kismet. Done. Uh, boom, boom, boom. There you go, boom. Okay. Interesting. I look forward to seeing um, what that was about. Milton Nasty Mento. Oh my god, you got the pox. Oh, they started being homophobic? Alright, that figures. I mean, they were Russian, right? It is what it is. I mean, of course, we got, you know, English speaker one here as well. Oh... Uh, Pookie, it's okay. I'm not going to be sucking your dick today. Let's see. All right, cool. So we covered that. Uh, cat, uh, I, can't, I can't wait to show fucking Discus, actually. That uh, The footage of the fucking Chinese QBZ-191. It's going to be hilarious. Um, I didn't mention. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, this one. Okay, so I was going to mention uh, Nichelle. Mm. Um. The, 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 the Noah's Ark thing in Kentucky that was built with public money, mind you. Um, they're suing their insurance company over a million dollars worth of claims of water damage after heavy rains to the, to the Ark. I just, there may be a God, but they seem to have a really fucked up sense of humor. <laughs> sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That stupid arc in Kentucky is suing their insurance company because of a war. fucking rain damage to the arc. Oh. God, the fucking... <sighs> How? You're either born with it or you get it through trauma. You know the answer, Kai. You know the answer. You're either born with the religion or you get it through trauma. Because the fact of the matter is, is that how do you actually sit back and look at any of that and come out the other side going, no, this makes sense. I mean, if you were, like, just had never heard of the Bible, never, it's just nothing. You just pulled this book off a bookshelf somewhere, and you're like, "Yeah, I'm thumbing through it." Are, how how quickly 
how quickly before you start to think to yourself, I think I may have the, the like the book for me. Like this is the meaning of life. I'm not, this is, this is it. This is the big, this is the alpha and the omega. This is, this is it. This is everything I need to know in one book, right? Like how, 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 how long into that book before you start thinking to yourself, this is, this is it. Right? Like, if you have no context for that book, that book is batshit crazy. It makes no sense. It's crazy balls, cover to cover. Right? There's no, like, there seems to be sort of a couple of arcs that you can follow, but the story's very mishmash. Like, it just, oh my god, at this point, fuck me. You have to have a broken logic switch or turn it off for some reason. The deity behind nature sprinkles human affairs with world historical irony. Papa John. If they had followed the uh, exact arc building specs from the Bible, though, <clears throat> they are there. Only if so <laughs> everyone else does it. Uh, it's not always trauma. Like, even if you're born in it, your parents gave it to you with trauma. I mean, wait, wouldn't, wouldn't that be an argument that it's always trauma then? Uh, I asked a Christian, oh, what about the babies who died in Noah's flood? He told me they died peacefully, drowning, drowning, infamously peaceful way to go. <laughs> they died peacefully in a flood, a flood fucking, this isn't, this isn't just like floodwaters are violent and carry like building debris and fucking rocks and boulders in them, depending on the size of the flood, right? Like <laughs> fucking the babies died peacefully in the global flood. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what's what we most most sane humans would consider a peaceful death. <laughs> oh. Bold of you to assume they read the book and not get sucked in by a charismatic preacher who tells them what to think about what a book is written. Uh, it was written in the book. Fair zippy. What's the TLDR on the King James Bible being more based on other translations? I, I don't have a TLDR on that. <laughs> Eaten by sharks or dolphins. Oh, God, the dolphins. Oh, God, the dolphins. Oh, God. The otters and the dolphins. Just saying. For those who know. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, otters are arguably even more fucked up than dolphins. There's an argument to be made that otters are even more fucked up. Uh, go look. You can go your, do your own research. <laughs> Uh, either way, yeah, otters, otters and dolphins. <laughs> it gets, oh, it's bad. It's bad. It's dark. It's always the cute ones. I know, right? Penguins are pretty fucked, too. Yeah, they are. What about seals? They're in the category for me. Uh, dig, no. Um, dig, the, the behavior that we're talking about is like for fun, raping, like, a baby seal to death. I'm not like, like, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's bad. It's bad. And then using their body as like a toy and tossing it around and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, 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 you know, yeah, it's rough. Okay. So ducks do, but it's only specifically mallards. Um, mallards are the ones who rape. Okay, so this is a lot of fucking misinformation about the duck rape out there. I've actually gone through this before, <laughs> specifically. There's a lot of misinformation about the duck rape. Okay, the ducks rape, but specifically the mallards have the highest percentage. They're, they're the coin flip for whether it's rape or not. Um, outside of the mallards, rape is usually a rarity um, amongst other ducks, but it's the mallards that have the, the infamously evolutionary uh, 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 arms race of penis versus vagina. Um, and 
it's not even the, um, the, the, the the coin flip with the mallards is that not all mallards are rapey mallards. Like, here's the thing. The, 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 a good percentage of them are like just, they, they have partners. But a good percentage of the mallard population can't get a partner. And so they just sort of try and rape somebody else's duck. And that's the strategy. Because if the female relaxes, actually, like if, if she's a willing recipient, the weird corkscrew works. It, it actually does. It can it can work. There's a perfectly viable, um, you know, um, reception um, with a willing participant. It's not like these just don't work. It has to be right. It, it, it works. Um but yeah, there's there's a there's a significant population that gets out competed in the mallard population, and they get really really aggressively rapey. Um, and they they are the percentage contributor that make the highest percentage contribution to duck subspecies raping. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> duck incels duck incels it's a thing it's a thing <laughs> um if you have a good male to female ratio it doesn't get rapey if there's too many males it gets nuts yep yeah that's just the, the truth <laughs> matter with that uh and swallow is fucking the air What else? Oh yeah, did you did you see we're trading a fucking like a Russian war criminal or some shit? Are we doing that for the basketball player, the the woman in jail over in Russia for weed? Like, does anybody like? Is, do I here? Let me see if you can beat me. Does anybody know? Are we actually doing that trade? They've, they've asked it. They've asked. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Russian assassin. Like they want to, they want an assassin back. We don't have him. We can't get him. Oh, oh, he's dude. It's Germany who has him. Germany has the guy. He's been convicted for murder in Germany. Vadim Krasikov. Um, He's who they want back. Um, and Germany actually is the one arrested, uh, who arrested uh, and convicted him. We've often... They want Vic. No, we suggested we'd give them Victor Bout, maybe, and they've asked for somebody we don't have. We're playing. Oh my god! Yeah, we could give them Victor, Victor, but they asked for Vadim Krasikov. They replied to the U.S.'s initial offer by requesting Vadim Krasikov, who Germany has. 
yeah, that's... And keep in mind, they found a vape pen on her. Uh, they found uh, va- some like vape cartridges um, for like um, they were they were weed weed pens, right? She was going abroad. She probably took a couple, a few, right? And so they uh, they arrested her for uh, large scale transportation of drugs. And so they're holding on to her. <laughs> uh. Oh god, the fucking irony of like look at us wheeling and dealing. She got tagged for weed. This motherfucker's still serving life sentences and shit for selling dime bags and fucking transporting a, a backpack worth across state lines and shit like that. Like there's the motherfuckers doing like 25 to life. For some of some three strike bullshit, right? And they got caught with nothing, right? Like this, mo- this motherfucker's doing hard time for weed, and the U.S. government out here wheeling and dealing, offering up assassins and fucking, uh, you know, arms dealers and like, you know, it's like Jesus Christ, what is? It's two people that we're trying to get back. What'd the other one get tagged for? Also weed? I only know about the one. What happens if they arrest her when she gets back to the United States? For what? She didn't commit any crimes here. No crimes were committed on U.S. soil. (laughs) Like, it's... Besides, after you cut a deal like that, it would just be bad. It'd just be bad optics. Oh, God. Viscous. What are you doing now? Interesting. It's only three countries that legally export. UK, Netherlands, and Canada. Canada is apparently the, the king of it, but if we opened it, no. Nah, it's bad optics for it. We're not going uh, to arrest her for uh, exportation of cannabis product. It's not worth our time. I mean, look, cast. Is the WNBA still a thing? It's solely subsidized by the NBA's earnings. Like, does this, does, has the WNBA ever turned its own profit? It's just like women don't seem to support the WNBA. That's, that's what I, I don't know. Yeah, like, I, I, it doesn't, it doesn't. Bobby, no, it has not. That's what I thought. Okay. Like I said, I remember seeing a Bill Burr bit about how feminists failed the WNBA. Sounds about right. I Men support men's sports. Why can't women support women's sports? It feels fair. Or support both. I, I don't. It's weird. It just. It's never turned a profit. That may say something about men, but it may also say something about women. <laughs> like that's that's. It's wholly subsidized by the NBA. Rex, lower the baskets. It's it, it, it's the same. It's the same setup as the NBA. God. <sighs> to be fair, men are also still the bulk of viewers for women's sports.
is there is it is it is it the WNBA's problem or is it what I think it is? Right? Are they are they just not recruiting talent? Or is it that setting the expectations and the the standards of the sport where they are may we we might have to have a difficult discussion territory. Cause if it's I would like to know from someone who actually follows these sorts of sports. Marketing mainly. Really. How much you need to spend in marketing to make it work? <laughs> Not binary. <laughs> Well, see, that's the thing, Manta Ray. I'm an anarchist. I believe in equity. See, equality doesn't equal equity. And equality can be detrimental. Everybody, we're going to run this race to determine who run, who is king of society. And everybody who's blind, deaf, doesn't have legs, fucking has neurological conditions, fucking is, you know, in a diabetic fucking shock. Like all of these people with like, you know, inability to complete this race are just, it's like, okay, well, but everybody has equal opportunity. We can all participate in this race. Equality isn't everything it's racked up to be. I like equity. So, yeah, equally or equitably is the question, says Rex. Yes. And so this is one of those instances where maybe some self-enforced equality as well. All I'm saying is that you could probably make the sport more interesting. Play to strengths, downplay some weaknesses. Like, it just seems like you could probably bring in the numbers. You can market it better, but make it more exciting. That's what the athletic prowess does to the, that's what the LeBron James level of like athleticism that like that raw fucking athleticism that's just brought to it. And then, I mean, let's not forget that, you know, Jordan, LeBron James, these people are fucking geniuses at what they do too. calculations happening behind the scenes are fucking ridiculous. Um, but like it's it's a spectacle it's a spectacle it should be a spectacle how you provide that spectacle and you know that's up to you but like you always have to remember it's entertainment it's entertainment it's entertainment it's spectacle <sighs> yeah i mean Quite literally, you are correct, though, Tech. It is, it's not as exciting to watch professional athletes perform poorly. Unless it's really, really poorly, and then it's kind of fun. Uh, but not regularly. We just want to see them fuck up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Didn't they have a lingerie football league? I don't know. Did they? That sounds like something we'd do. That sounds like something we'd do. Uh, the only women's sport better than the men's version is soccer. I 100% US, U.S. women's soccer is always, it always delivers. It always delivers. They're fucking brilliant at what they do. I don't know why our men's soccer teams suck in this country, but holy shit do they. It doesn't even matter if we import them. Fucking. Oh, okay. So we did have a lingerie football league. So there you go. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if we import them. Like it, it, it for some reason, our just, our teams suck. But our women's team kicks ass. Oh, God, I won't bring that up, though. Mm, there is a story involving them, though. Okay, so the reason Brittany Grenier, uh, Grenier is being arrested as a female black athlete is so huge because she's basically the best of the best. So her being in prison as another country as a female black athlete is becoming a huge deal. It's a women's equivalent of Kobe or Kobe or LeBron being in prison in Russia. Fair enough. Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Cass, for the contextualizations behind... You know, who this person is and why it's who, what it is. Hmm. 
<laughs> make it, make it, <laughs> make, make it exy as, as Voe ball. <laughs> Rex then says, ugh, cell phone, secky. <laughs> Rex, make it sexy as volleyball. Um, I don't think you need to necessarily like bring sexualization and exploitation into it. I think you just need to like tweak the game a little bit so maybe it's a little more exciting. Uh, there's got to be ways to do that. Jesus Christ, really, cat. Okay, so the big problem with the WNBA is that they don't have any national TV deals, nor do they have any really cheap way to watch them. It's probably cheapest to buy a season pass and then just attend a game when they play in your local arena. The players can't reliably dunk, but they're very fundamentally sound, and they've embraced the three-pointers, so there's still appeal for the hardcore. So, like, it's... So, Cap, for somebody like me, it'd be like the MJ era, almost. Like, just sinking threes. Like, yeah. Oh, God, there was a great discussion the other day. I saw a bunch of the uh, basketball nerds. And they were, um, they were they, basically somebody was saying, it was like, holy shit, you were saying Michael Jordan wouldn't be able to fucking adapt his game to today. You've got fucking lame asses out there uh, sinking fadeaways all the time on the regular. Come on. Somebody just put up 40 in fadeaways the other night. And they're like, dude, MJ would just convert his game. He'd do what's necessary. Fucking make, the make it sink a fucking, uh, you know, a half court, no problem. He'd be fine. Either way. Um, interesting. So that would be, it would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just need to tweak it. What's well, this Olympic curling? Fuck that. Um, I, I, I like soccer to the level that I, it bothers me to call it soccer. I, I really instinctually, like in my head, I say football and then I just go, mm, soccer. I grew up learning. It was soccer to me most of my life. But, you know, once I started paying attention to it, it was like, ah, fuck. We, we got the name from the fucking Oxford Club. It's fine. It's not, you know, like, I know the it's not Americanization. It was actually given to us by the Brits. But, like, you know, the rest of the world calls it football. You kick the ball. You can't touch it with your hands except in special circumstances. For the love of God, it's football. The thing we call football should be called something else. I don't know. It just, it just is. Makes sense that way. Again. I mean, Manta Ray, what are you going to say in that sort of situation, right? I mean, it's a, you're dealing with Russia. You don't fucking know. You might need to outright deny, right? It was an accident. There might be a legal clause for that. You got to fucking, it just is what it is, Manta Ray. You got to work through the degrees of all the way down to potentially needing to admit guilt. But you start out there because you can't work it the other way. Yeah, I, I doubt that. Um, handed like seven to nine threes in finals game to prove a point. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just... <laughs> Rye, fair enough, Rye. Love it. I mean, Fotech, I don't. Some people would. I don't, though. Some people would, though. Uh. Mm, fair enough, Bobby. Egg ball. Sport. Just call it sport. Uh, <laughs> soft rugby. Oh God. Rugby light. Rugby light. Oh, that would piss Americans off. <sighs> Mostly throw and carry the ball. Soccer. Zippy says we call it soccer. So the NFL is now NSL. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zippy. Actually, you know what? You win Zippy. I love that. Yeah. From now on football is what everybody knows football as and soccer is American football. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just spin it around. No problem. We made we made a mistake. Fix it. And the mistake 
as always, was listening to Britain. Britain taught us the term soccer. Everybody else calls it football. Britain taught us the term soccer. Once again, Britain. <clears throat> See, that was our mistake. Our mistake wasn't calling it soccer. Our mistake was listening to Britain. Uh, so there you go. Problem solved. Blame Britannia. Always works. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Interesting. I know what's going on there. Interesting, right? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see what you're Yeah, I know. You're going to have to learn to... Gotta have to put the limits on that right up front. <clears throat> All right. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay, we talk. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the distinctly American problems. <laughs> this is so America. This is so America. Okay. So basically, the. <laughs> The most recent um, <clears throat> court ruling basically um, put a put a wrench in. Well, okay, so Georgia has this thing called the Safe Carry Protection Act, and with the recent ruling that affected California and New York uh, at the Supreme Court about um, restrictions on uh, people's ability to carry weapons. Um, Basically, George's uh, <laughs> George's uh, law and internal court rulings dictate that the um, Atlanta music the Atlanta music Midtown Festival uh, wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to tell people not to bring firearms, and well. A late summer, early autumn music festival, Midtown Atlanta, might get a little hype, shit might happen. So, like, they can't even tell them. So, like, could you not have firearms, like, in here? Um, and so they canceled the, the, the music festival because they were pretty sure that they'd be cleaning up a, a shooting they, they were like we can't risk it that that's 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 how you just know that's how you just know they're, they're, they're like festivals off the the or festival organizers were fairly certain at that point that yeah there was a high potential for them to have to be dealing with the aftermath of a shooting or more than one Feels about right for the ATL. Yeah. For sure. <sighs> okay, so what's going on? What's the sub... What's the sub-conversation? There's like two side conversations. Okay, so... Dig. That's who's going at this. Alright, so... Okay, so took a swipe at that. Took a swipe at that. Fucking that. Uh huh. Rye. Um. Uh. Except um. The the rye. The last one actually was um. Uh. uh Secret Service enforced. They're the ones. <laughs> now that that actually that's funny we need trump back really badly he will fix america says the manta rays 22 okay now i kind of want to talk to you now i kind of am interested you've been boring so far but now i'm now i'm interested 
Like... What's up, Manta Ray? You open to a conversation? I would, I would, I kinda, I want, I wanna talk to you. I just, I, I just wanna know how you're measuring these things and how you come to some of these conclusions. I like how the left puts people in jail for weed, but then they release the African girl in Russia. Okay, so um, you are already restricted, just so you know, for people that are like wondering what I'm responding to and where. This is the radical, uh, probably radical monkeypox account. Um, they've finally chosen to speak up after this long. Um, but like, yeah, you're already tagged. You do, whoever you are, your IPs are already on on fucking blast or your VPNs on blast. You're already tagged. Fucking Twitch has got you nailed already. Um so the left, you mean the Democrats, right? Who aren't the left? Right? So like the actual progressives are all about getting rid of the weed laws, and you know that. But you don't argue in good faith. You're you're literally using an account that's attempted, you know, fucking take a swipe at the LGBT community and the the latest transmissible disease. That's all. So like, I mean, at the end of the day, like, wh why would I engage you in good faith? Why would I ever take you off restricted? Right? Like, you came in as a ban evader. <laughs> it's like fucking it, even Twitch's lame ass protection system was like oh for sure this motherfucker the left are extreme oh manta ray manta ray manta ray okay sorry i was just dealing with another idiot i wasn't speaking to you manta ray um so manta ray would you be opening uh, would you be open to having a conversation on the air with me because you've got some positions that I would love to investigate. <clears throat> you're again, you're screaming into the void. Apparently, I want to report you to the FBI, according according to old Monkeypox here. Hey, Monkeypox, you're screaming into the void. Only if I find you amusing do you fucking make it out of there. The mods can see you, though. So, you know, the mods can see you, too. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway. Hey, Kenny. How you doing? Hope you're well. What gift is that? Is that... Oh, I thought it was... Oh, okay. I thought it was something else. Um... <laughs> you are uh, good to know. <laughs> Babies with a nice bechamel sauce. Don't knock it. Dane, welcome. No, because I know I'm right. He did good things, Trump. Capital G, good things. What did uh, Manta Ray, what good things did he do? <laughs> monkey. So I want monkey in these parts. Oh, Kenny, it's been, I mean, you know, nothing exemplary that I would say would was super stand out. We did view some interesting footage um, that gave us a good chuckle. But, you know, it's been okay. Uh, right now, just interacting with somebody who believes Donald Trump was the greatest president in the history of the country and did good things and is making a call for uh, and come back also there's somebody who's uh shadow banned that you can't see sorry it's just it's an unfortunate uh necessity in the internet world i didn't do it twitch did it um who is screaming into the void right now it is funny they are um they're very angry with jeff bezos i'll say that um <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Um, I don't know. Is it cupcake? I mean, that's not. It's not. We'll see. Give him a little more rope. 
um, I want to see a Trump shrine or you ain't a true believer. Uh, I can't either. They, 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 they are, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Here, I'll give you, I'll give it to you. Amazing. Beta. Um, <laughs> it's like borderline. I, oh God. Start the proceedings. Just don't hit submit yet. You know, they'll get there. Just, you might as well start. My freedom of speech. They just said my freedom of speech. My free speech. Oh, I love it when social and fiscal conservatives argue about the freedom of speech thing. After the years they've spent divorcing the ability to protect your speech from private entities. Then when private entities happen to control ma the majority of the communication systems, all of a sudden now it's a topic. Now it's a topic because they're against them. Yes, it wasn't, it wasn't a thing. It wasn't a problem until they were against them. Then all of a sudden it was the biggest problem in the room. Welcome to the party. Fucking hey! They're also doing uh, Jewish uh, Jew uh, Jewish implications now as well. If you're if you're wondering, if you're keeping up, if you're keeping score, what the what the shadow band Chud is doing. <laughs> also, I mean, also the the account too. Probably cupcake. We're probably gonna have to just fucking report the account as well for you know doing the proudly radical monkey pox thing. Jesus Christ. Um. Hypocrisy at every term. Yep. Literal book burner saying freedom of speech. Conservatives are smarter than liberals. Libtards are such horrible criminals. Missing punctuation as well. Uh, I'm going to correct the sentence. Uh, yeah, I have to because it protects the channel. I have to operate within the contractual terms of service because I understand how a capital, uh, a contract structure works within capitalist industry. See, we live in a capitalist system dictated, dictated and overseen by the U S uh, justice systems. All right. And terms of service contract agreements have pretty much well been hashed out at this point in our legal history. And we know how it operates. And due to the, the protections that have been given to private industry over, well, pretty much the course of my lifetime by the social, uh, social and fiscal conservatives of this country, we have arrived at a point where, yes, it is uh, whether this channel ex is allowed to exist or not dictates on whether we abide by the terms and services and the conditions applied therein in that contract. And part of those conditions include protecting the corporate entity from elements and such like you the the uh the constitution is the terms of service the constitution applies the gut between the governance and the private citizen the first amendment protects your speech from restriction by the government not by charter communications amazon aws host twitch subsidiary co uh, uh company as uh, twitch subsidiary llc doing business that they're out right that's not what the first amendment's about and any i mean any like civics 101 or poli sci class but i mean definitely a first year law student would know this distinction it this is ridiculous that the you you actually so hey definitely not an fbi what's up be over. Funny how people think freedom of speech means that they can come in your house or streamer page and say whatever they want without consequence. Hmm, it's funny. Isn't, it? isn't, that, isn't that interesting, be over, that they don't understand what it means? And kind of sad I can't see their side of the combo. Uh, public, um, you know, don't worry. It's right now he's calling uh, what first he implicated that all of the problems, uh, uh, he, he implied that all of the problems were, well, he explicitly stated. Um, no, no, no. He implied. He implied all of the problems of the world were caused by uh, <clears throat> them, 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 them. Right? He's already doing the Jew thing. Um, and now he's saying we should ban uh, Cupcake for a username of Proudly Jew. Being proud of being Jewish is not a bannable offense. Dummy. I just, you know, interesting. When Republicans say free speech with a Southern accent, I'm not sure they're crying about free, free speeches. Uh, yep. Internet is a public place. No, it isn't. 
Not as how we've designed and set it up. Some aspects and elements of it can be and are, but not the entirety of the internet. No, it is not. It's largely controlled by state-controlled interest as well as capitalist-controlled interest. It's not a public, it's not a commons at all, legally or financially. And it was... So white pride is okay then because Jew pride is allowed. Um, I hate to break it to you here, Pox. Um, we encounter people expressing uh, ethno-nationalism, white supremacy on a regular. Without having ban evader accounts. Just on their accounts of multiple years. People are free to express those ideas on this this platform. They really they they really do, and they they do. But when you inevitably stray into death threats and wishes of harm and terroristic allegations, yeah, so you, when you start getting up to stochastic levels of terrorism, yeah, you get kicked off the fucking platform. Yeah, that's how that works. So almost inevitably you idiots fucking get kicked off the platform because you can't not threaten somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Sure you were. The person who registered the proudly radical monkey pox account with the likely ban evader uh, tag on their account says they're not evading a ban. They were set up by an account raid slash report. Pookie, good luck to you. Um, anyway, we've spent enough time on you. Good luck to you. Uh, cupcake, send it off. There's probably enough. I mean, between, you know, that and the other and the other. Send it off and we'll just deal with it. Um, Kavas, I hear of idiots, but I don't see idiots. Uh, this one came in with a ban evaded, uh, um, ban evasion uh, restriction on them by default. Um, anyway, so that's done. Um, anyway, so those keeping track, they're done. Um, manta ray, manta ray, manta ray. Um, oh, hang on. Hey, Manta. Where are you from, Manta Ray? What part of the country? Where are you from? You don't have to give me your street address. Just ask him for what part of the country you're from. It's a big country. Shouldn't be too much in that. Where are you from, Manta? I'm originally from Vermont. I live in Las Vegas now, but I've lived all over this country. Lived in Tennessee for a while. Arizona. Been all over. South Carolina. Interesting. I got, I got family there. I got people there. I got people in South Carolina. I was right next door. I was in Tennessee for a time. All right. All right. All right. Now. Um, oh, uh, uh, D Discord. Be over. Discord, please, and thank you. Um. <laughs> Boss. All right. Um, Manta. May I ask approximately how old you are? You young? You old? You nine? You like eighteen to twenty-five? You you coming up on thirty fast? You you in your mid country forties fifties? Like what am I dealing with? How long you been around? Twenty-four specifically. Interesting. Oh, well, thank you for being forthright. All right, so you're a 24 year old from South Carolina, and you believe that Trump is basically Jesus returned, right? He's he's the the, the single greatest living president, uh, the single greatest president. 
Um, and it, the, the simple return of him would fix all of our nation's ills. And all of those ills are to be blamed upon solely, am I guessing, li libtards? Is that, is that what we're going for? It's all liberals? If only the liberals could be once and fine for all dealt with and Donald Trump returned to power, this country could get back on track, right? Is, is this a fair supposition? Is this a fair summary of what you've said or what you agree with? <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> oh, I like your sense of humor, Jacob. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Would you be open to look? I, I will 100% work with you in good faith. That sort of thing. Do you have Discord? Would you be open to having a conversation? Because I'd love to know how and why is and the delay between text and voice. It's just it's it's intolerable to deal with. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Like I said, I'm an I, dude, despite your you, look, you're not going to understand what I am politically. Um, without a bunch of explanation but the fact of the matter is is that i don't like the democrats either man i don't like the republicans either though like you have to understand i i'm i'm in disapproval of the entirety of it um but i'd love to have a conversation with you because i i disagree but i would love to explore how one ends up at that conclusionary point and so if you'll have a conversation with me on air that'd be great if not then you know i understand um Uh, cool. Ooh, okay. Uh, be over. I mean, <sighs> okay. I see what you mean. Be over. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> oh, please. Nobody knows what's going on there. Cool. Um... Let me think about it. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hang on. Boom. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is? What's up? What's up? What's up? Lazy <laughs> duck. Boom. Wait. What? <laughs> um. Yeah. Be over. I saw all that. Um. <laughs> All right. Um, ooh, hang on. <laughs> um, Manta Ray, we can get you into our Discord server, and we can get you on air pretty easily. Um, here. Um, link in chat. Um, it'll get off there in a second. There you go. Uh, Manta Ray, the link is in chat for you. There's the Discord link if you click it. You can join the Discord server. Just do the do the welcome screen thing. Just read it. You'll be fine. Um. Okay. Wait, what? What's Wither up to? Well then, um, let's see, what do we have? Jesus Christ. Uh, we have 234 golf courses on military bases, apparently. That's a lot. 234 global golf courses that are US military controlled. 
we have 234 golf courses on bases. I wonder how many of those around the world. I wonder how many of those. I wonder how many of the golf courses are domestic versus international. That would be interesting to note. Uh, well, manta rays, it's not mean that we would get, we don't care about mean. Mean is neither here nor there. <laughs> what we care about is ideological self consistency um, and factual specificity. So, no, that's that's not the matter of. Um, <laughs> y'all know what Seattle and the Secret Service have in common? The leading text. Um, yeah. Let's just say that we, 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 I would like to investigate and potentially challenge your, uh, uh, some statements about Donald Trump. I would like to investigate and potentially challenge some of your, uh, your, your ideological holdings as a self-described conservative. Um... And see some of the like. I would like to again investigate like some of the, the the narrative of your life that may have led to that position, if at all possible, because that's what I find usually when I have conversations with people. Is there's usually a reason they believe what they believe, and so I want to know the reason they believe what they believe, and I want to know if they know what they believe. I want to know if they're they're aware of the sort of underpinnings and the movements and machinations of what they believe and where these ideas have come from and maybe why they have them. So that's sort of something I enjoy doing, shall we say. <laughs> um. Jesus Christ, whether I see that. <clears throat> oh, Kavas. So, anyway. All right. So, we did the. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We did that. Oh, yeah. The fucking uh, Republicans are going to do a bunch of anti union activity in 2024. Just know that. Um, okay, we did the festival shutdown. We talked about the Gastonia thing. North Carolina. Gastonia is North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure Gastonia is North Carolina. Um, oh, God. Yeah, fucking which asshole is this? Which fucking billionaire jackass is this? Sundar Pichai, the fucking Google CEO. Uh, he told he's in a recent letter to his um, <clears throat> his staff. Um, he's told employees that productivity and focus must improve, and they've uh, Google has launched a new initiative, Simplicity Sprint. It's to gather employee feedback on efficiency. Mm -hmm. It's a micromanaging app system that constantly looks for you know, data and analytics and fucking is micromanaging the employees. Anyway... Um, all right, we'll pull you just in case. Ah, uh, so they bought it off Amazon. <laughs> so they bought Amazon. Um, fucking yeah, it's just an Amazon warehouse. It's just an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> oh, it's just an Amazon warehouse. All right. I hate the red the red arrow, but it is what it is. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her. I'm in a photo with a pedophile. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, he's not. Te he's technically not a pedophile, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh God. Yeah, it was Matt. It was Matt. Good old Matt Gates. 
<laughs> Why is he intentionally taking selfies with young girls? Because he's Matt Gates. Is he, I mean, is he that stupid? Again, I reiterate, he's Matt Gates. This is the dude that put the, uh, filled in the memo line for a fucking uh, money transfer to his boy to pay an underage girl to have sex with him. He, he filled in the memo line for his underage sex worker when he Venmoed the dude money. Like, yeah, he's dumb. <sighs> oh. And also, you know, corrupt beyond belief, so he probably thought he could get away with it. He's... <laughs> oh. Quagmire McGates. <laughs> Dude, it basically... Basically, yeah, it, it, it's just like, I mean, come on. Yeah, it's fucking Matt Gates, man. What do you expect? The guy is sketchy as shit. Um, is Rev here? I know Rev had a complete fucking meltdown, but this headline is... Thirty-six years of trouble with this vehicle. Thirty-six years. Yeah, <laughs> fucking do Jeeps. You have to understand Jeeps. This is this is this is a study in human psychology right here. This is brilliant. Thirty-six years go by. Oh. <laughs> uh. He's 79. He's 79. He's due to 79 years of age. He's 79. He hit the wall, guys. He hit the wall. He hit the he hit the old man wall. He hit the old man wall. He doesn't give a shit anymore. You Corey, good luck. That's, that's, I don't mean like good luck, good luck. I mean, that's good luck. Good on you. Uh, his give a fuck died before he did. Yep. He officially outlived his give a fuck. Straight up. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the same dealership duck. That's the, that's the thing. And yeah, I think so. Um, save the best for last. Chad Atkins, let's debate. An account that was created all of what? Six days ago? Six days ago. Um, an account cre all, uh, created all of six days ago with its profile not at all filled out whatsoever. Not in the slightest. Not one bit of customization done to it whatsoever has just walked in and said, let's debate. Uh, sidewalk. Uh, well, you said, let's debate. Uh, that's not how this, not all how I work. One, I haven't seen um, very many actual debates on Twitch. As somebody who did speech and debate and mock trial and constitutional debate and, oh, teen court as well, actually, um, as a teenager. Um, oh, a contemporary issues. That was, yeah, also. Um, but anyway, uh, <laughs> it's rare that that actually occurs. What thesis should we uh, should we debate? 
what is our what are our positions that we're going to build off of this thesis? What would you like to debate? <clears throat> Mass debate? Hey, Zen. Uh, okay, a gauntlet made of paper mache has been thrown down. What's up, Baron Kraken? Uh, how many times have you heard release the Kraken or some shit, Baron? That's <laughs> how, how often? You're, yeah, 2017 account. Yeah, you got a minute in it. So, how many times? Jesus. Um, way too many. Yeah, I figured as much. Like, yeah, that's got to, that one's got to sting. You chose it, though. You did it to yourself. Um, come on, chat. What, what, what thesis would, would what, I mean, what, what should we, I mean, suggestions? Um, I still say it every time I crack a bottle of crack and rum. It is tradition. Um, yeah, so let me know. Uh, but I'll happily, happily have a conversation with you, Chad. As I find that debate is rather rare. Let's debate about debate. I mean, the merits of debate really are chicken thighs are superior to chicken breast. Decori, that whether you can't debate um, ontologically true things. Right, like as far as an epistemological analysis of the statement of ch that chicken thighs are superior to chicken breast, that is like as close to probably a a, 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 a truth, an axiom for deontology that you could you could conceive. Yeah, that's just that's just ontologically correct. Yeah, based in thigh pilled. <laughs> yeah. So I, I decor, I, I, you know, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to debate a topic, though, uh, de debate that topic, because as I said, it is, it's just, it's just correct. Yeah. Why chicken, though? They know what they did. Um... Variation is in its use. Sometimes you want the breast to further season since it's more bland. Yeah, but any seasoning, dude, dude, the fat from the thigh and it's the richer meat is going to be welcome in any of those preparations. You use, you use chicken breast because you it's relatively inexpensive and plentiful, right? Nah, yeah, don't eat it. <laughs> okay, takes better off the inner thigh, debate me. Um, You know, I don't think I've ever eaten cake off of somebody's inner thigh, to be perfectly honest. <coughs> Fat is flavor, thighs win. Yeah, that's a that's a guaranteed victory. I could use my thighs and my taquitos instead of breast. Yeah, like any any application where breast is appropriate, thigh will excel. <clears throat> um, it depends if it's boned yet or not, cat. If, if it's all the way butchered down and deboned, um, <clears throat> if it's boned out, then you're fine. The, so the incoming increase topic, the incoming increase in food costs, the bubble's about to pop. Are you ready? No. No, I'm not either. <gasps> oh, by the way, um, let me do, let me check. Let me check. Hold on. Cause this is, this is hilarious. Uh, Reddit drama. Come on. Oh, pff. helps if you. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, So, <clears throat> R slash Moscow, uh, grilled or fried chicken. Fried is always going to be better, but grilled, uh, grilled has its own flavor profile. 
I mean, fry, let's face it, fried chicken is delicious, but grilled has a place in this world. I, I would, it's not like it's always better. Grilled has a place. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so r slash Moscow on Reddit got taken over by uh, too Russophobic for you. And when I say taken over, too Russophobic to you, for you was the original mod of Moscow, r slash Moscow. So all they did was come back. They didn't like that Moscow was what uh, uh, has become this Russia stand tanky haven uh, okaying the Ukraine war. So they came back and pulled their old uh, profile and well, when it first happened, <laughs> Confirmed Putin spawn of Satan in this earth uh, earth fuck Russia this r subreddit sank due to bad weather and bad storage of ammo I now believe in reincarnation and now these days it's you know Third strongest military in Ukraine <laughs> is, is the so-called military superpower in the room with us now Moscow mule Evidence of their war crimes. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's become uh, a, sh a shit post for shitting on uh, Russia and Russia stands and tankies and people who believe that Russia's doing well in this war. Because the original mod of our slash Moscow literally had, a, as Beast put it, an, oh yeah, I forgot I own this moment. And just came back and shut it all down <laughs> just cleaned house <laughs> this dude just shows up he's like ah yeah um i'm the primary mod i'm the owner of this subreddit i have it's the way it works it's the the key structure immediately just and everybody's out so, yeah, r slash Moscow is now a, a shitpost subreddit for <laughs> shitting on Russia. Uh, I'd love to try and get my hands on Sino. Dude, if you could get your hands on Sino, that would be the score of the century. Um, for those who don't know, this is entirely a thing that happens within Reddit sometimes. You can capture subreddits. Uh, it's really difficult to do, but it's entirely possible. Like, you can also, like, get them away from groups. Like, you can, you can capture a, a subreddit. Um, so yeah, that's just funny. <laughs> oh God, fucking A. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this shit, this is dude, this is, this is I wonder, where's my freeze peach guy for this shit? Um, dude, ugh, fucking UK. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what y'all be up to over there, but you need to fucking knock it off. Um, <clears throat> the Swedish culture police would realize how ridiculous this is. What did it need to come to? Tell, tell what, what, us why you escalated it to this level, because I don't understand. You posted something that he posted. Okay. You can't arrest me, you don't arrest him. Why has it come to this? Why am I in cuffs? Because there's something he shared, then I shared. Someone has been called obviously anxiety based upon your social media site. Okay, so what's occurring here is that a gentleman is being placed under arrest because he retweeted a uh, one of the, the pride flag swastikas that was going the rounds. Fuck, I forget who got kicked off Twitch for showing it, right? This dude retweeted it and somebody reported him to the cops and the cops arrested him. Can we not do that, please? And thank you. See, this is the thing. The UK, the U CTV, yeah. Uh, the UK fucking has wacky fucking... There's, there's no speech protections in the UK, really, to speak of. Um, so you're subject to all of that sort of bullshit. And like, this, look, this is a gay man telling you. Like, <clears throat> like what, the, what the dude was passing around was the, the swastika pride flag. So, Okay. Like, I, I get, like, yeah. Like, what, okay. 
I, I'm not a fan of it. I'd really like prefer it not to be a thing, but I, I don't I don't want the police arresting people because they retweeted a picture of it. Like, <clears throat> yeah, Dankula, dude. That apparently that case just got wrapped up like within the last couple of months. Actually, dude, that went on forever. Yeah, that's that's yeah same place where they arrested the guy. That's Dankula, that did Carpe. Yeah, that's fucking Count Dankula that trained his fucking dog to do the Hitler, the little pug to do the Hitler salute. Again, you know, fuck, can we not get the cops involved? Jesus fucking Christ. It just, it's like, hey, you know, bro, I saw that you retweeted that, that like, pride swastika flag. Like, what the fuck's that about, man? Oh, I just thought it was funny. Yeah, I mean, why did you think that was funny? Like, it's kind of fucked up, man. Like, they, we're, we're British, man. Like, think of what the fucking Nazis did to us. But do you really think what fucking is some some queers down the street are are the same as the Nazis who are bombing London? Like, dude, your granddad died in that fucking war. Like, you know, shit like that. Like, you just take him aside and be like, dude, what the fuck? I don't need the cops to show up and put a motherfucker in handcuffs for me because somebody tweeted something that bothered me. Somebody called the cops on that dude. Somebody called the cops on that dude. Somebody called the cops on that dude. Come on. <sighs> Probably encapsulated in anti-Semitism or Holocaust denial laws being in England. No, uh, I don't. I, yeah, yeah, I bet they have them. I bet they have them. I bet they do. Um, <clears throat> The salute that's named after American. I mean, Carpe. Yeah, we've got we've got that salute, and uh, we feel good because we used to do it to the flag. Oh God, um, <laughs> ain't no trans blitzkrieg snowflakes. Um, you should be shit on by your peers for what you say, not by cops. I know, right? It, it just it, 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 it's not how you handle that. Somebody fucking called reported that dude to the police for like retweeting a fucking picture of a pride swastika Jesus Christ I want to meet I don't even I don't even give a shit about the dude who retweeted like I know that conversation the dude who retweeted the swastika he's a fucking dude he's a fuck some edgy fucking half dr half drunk off his ass most of the time fucking white dude from the UK I already know what he's about I want to know the person who fucking called the cops or what do you fight? Is it as simple as retweeting it to the cops? Do I just at the police? Right? Like, is it is that how this works? I just fucking at the police now. And like, hey, look at this tweet. And the fucking cops roll up on a motherfucker. Like, it just I want to meet the person who reported them. That's who I'm interested in. I want to meet the person who sees a fucking like tweet of something that bothers them and they call the cops. That's some secret police neighbor with snitch and shit. <clears throat> That's easier than swatting, says Carpe. I know, right? I can just tweet it out. <laughs> Excuse me. At Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Fuck this guy. Bam. It's just, yeah, like, who the fuck calls the cops for that shit? Jesus Christ. Literal keyboard justice warrior. I mean, it's one of those places where whether you like it or not, you have to admit that First Amendment's kind of based. Right? I, I, it's a good idea. It's one of those good ideas. Like, hey, you know what? As far as the government's concerned, as far as you and I are concerned, shut the fuck up. You don't get to talk about what I say. Okay? No. Just everything that falls out of my fucking mouth. As far as you're concerned, shut the fuck up. Right? Like, that's a good policy. That's a good policy to have with governments. <laughs> right? Like, officially our relationship is when I have an opinion, you shut the fuck up and listen. Oh, and when you have an opinion, shut the fuck up. You know, that that's a good, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. They don't have that. They don't have that. 
They don't have a right to speech. They don't. And that's what it looks like is motherfuckers being fucking thrown in thrown in fucking bracelets for fu- for what? Retweeting a fucking swastika pride flag. Yippee. Probably whatever version of a lib is over there. Jesus. Oh. Waste of fucking tax dollars. I mean, it's a waste of everything. It's a waste of everybody's fucking time. British Karen. Yep. Meanwhile, they're sending asylum seekers to Rwanda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck those assholes. <clears throat> um... Jesus Christ. Uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, this is going to be a Twitter thread, just so you know. <clears throat> Metropolitan Police Officers of London, a.k.a. Met Officers for the Americans. Met Officers, who are on the WhatsApp group with Wayne Cousins, were given ev- giving evidence in their defense about how their jokes about raping colleagues, assaulting the public, and making racist comments were not grossly offensive. Met police officer who joked about using someone with Down syndrome for a taser target practice said he didn't know Downy was offensive term. Almost every week there's a new word that's offensive. How am I supposed to know what offensive and who it's offensive to? Joel Borders since resigned from the Met, quote, Black people in the 80s, they were referred to as colored. It's racist. You can't say that now. Queer used to be offensive to gays, but a lot of them now have reclaimed it. Words are always changing. What's offensive and what's not? Borders said he didn't mean to be offensive by joking about raping a colleague. When you tell a joke, you're not laughing at the subject of joke. As part of his defense, he proffers the fact that he has joked about his mother having dementia. Borders says he was an exemplary police officer. He's now a close protection officer and likes to help people. Quote, I stop at traffic lights for people to cross, help them cross the road. Sounds like, (coughs) sounds like he got downgraded. Border says that jokes that walking through Hunslow was like a deluxe color code, but all shades of brown was meant in a positive way. Comment that, quote, he felt like a spot on a domino in Feltham has been blown out of all a uh, blown out of all proportion. Border defending his comments that he wanted to shoot someone in the face, quote, I've got a teacher friend. The number of times they've said, I just want to strangle the students. It's just a joke. I don't know why you're questioning. It's ridiculous because you fuckers do shoot people in the face. It's pretty rare that teachers strangle a kid. It's pretty common for a cop to shoot someone in the face. So just, you know. Borders joked about raping a female colleague. He's now saying that it came from a genuine concern that she would make a false sexual allegation about him because she is underhanded. Border says the investigation into the WhatsApp messages has gotten out of hand. It's absolute ridiculous. A ridiculousness. You're trying to criminalize innocent police officers just because you took you took exception to certain jokes. Thank you, Fontech. Uh, yes. Yeah, and they passed yeah, they passed the law so that they people couldn't protest against the police. I'd fire any teacher who makes a kid strangling joke. Uh, you know, private time, couple of glasses of wine. It is what it is, but you know, let's not make a habit of it. Um, yeah, I. You, that's the same police department that was just arresting that dude for retweeting a picture of a pride flag swastika. Rules for thee, not me. That's how it works. <sighs> now. Hey, congratulations, Red. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, Red just finished moving into their new place. <clears throat> now, we'll be covering this yeah, Aspen. Downtime. You know, it is what it is. Uh, except none of them do it. That's the point. Um, so, I was going to save this for exclusively Popo's Bizarre Adventures, but Popo's, we're going to um, 
uh, if, Fotec, take a take a pride flag and just lay a bunch of them out so they're, they're it's a swastika. That's all it is. Um, <clears throat> so I was gonna say this for Popo's Bizarre Adventures exclusively, but I'll get way into it for um for Popo's. But here's um here's all you need. <laughs> Ivana hearing hearing cow hearing cow hearing q q it's a it's a fucked up name either way um of Ivana is a reporter and the managing producer with al.com so like alabama.com actually does halfway decent work like reporting on alabama al.com this is the this is the reporter and managing producer for al.com Fucking jur- they like journalists in their own right too. And they do some trash work, but they do some decent work too. Um, okay, so <clears throat> she went to report on an execution, something she has done numerous times in her career. She gets there, and the Department of Corrections public information officer tells her her skirt is now too short. Same skirt she's worn it before. She's worn it to actual executions before. It's like her execution skirt, I guess. Um, <clears throat> they start giving her shit for it. Then they start giving her shit for the fucking slit on the skirt. She's like, okay, so what are my options? Well, fast forward. They're, they're bothered by her shoes, her skirt, her exposed legs. So... You want to know what the Alabama Department of Corrections put a a reporter and managing producer of AL.com in? Because I'd love to see... She wore tennis shoes and fish waders. Because those were deemed appropriate. But her knee length black skirt was not. Oh, some of you may are, are, are city folk. Some of you are always, I always forget, some of you motherfuckers are goddamn fucking. This shit. This is these these are waders. These are fishing waders. Not the not the piece she was wearing, but this is her. C overalls, yeah. Oh well, when pressed on this topic, the Department of Corrections for Alabama specified that, in fact. <clears throat> Oh, well, Fotech, you may have your lead here in a second if you want to chase this thread. Um, The Department of Corrections responded when pressed on this, um, what the deal was. They said, oh, well, this policy that they were enforcing has always been in place. But the policy uh, enforcement of dress code policy is left to the discretion of the person running the prison. Interesting to note that the prison just got new management. Yes. The warden of the prison is allowed to determine what policies they choose to enforce and when. Yep. It's warden's choice. And she's been... 
other executions. She's been to executions at this very prison. It's just this warden who has, seems to have a problem. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> they are kind of like sheriffs in a very real way, Carpe. Yeah, legally speaking, too. Uh, closest I got to, I've been through and in Alabama, but never any length of time. Yep, wardens are governors. They're, they're governors of their own little thing. Uh, and winner for the most delusional comment. And if anybody's wondering, we can get people to translate this. So just deal with it. This is uh, <clears throat> one sec here. There we go. Fucking A. All right. Welcome to Russian State TV. Oh, we're going to have subtitles. It's just for verifications purposes. Welcome to Russian State TV. Russian State TV is an interesting place. It's a very weird place. Um, <clears throat> this is a general of the Russian Armed Forces and a member of the State Duma. Um... Gurulov uh, is his name. Uh, he um, he's going to make an interesting suggestion here. Uh, drunk? I mean, I just presume he's a Russian general, so I automatically assume he's always, like, operating on some level of intoxic intoxication, right? <clears throat> They say, some, they say some wild shit for domestic propaganda over in Mother Russia. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> I heard some comments from some Germans on the matter. Uh, one of them literally said, Oh, so it's our turn to get threatened this week with nukes? Um, yes, Caboose. Uh, yes, that Russian general uh, is literally suggesting that they could uh, bomb uh, nuke into dust, right? They could bomb Berlin into dust and there would be no retaliation. Yes, he, he was in fact suggesting that emphatically to the to the rebuff uh, to the rebuff of uh, the host of the panel. You know, yeah. Berlin probably thinks, ha. Huh. So. How does he assume there won't be any retaliation? Um, lots of vodka. Yeah, lots of vodka. That's that's what I have to assume is lots of vodka. Um, yeah. Oh, d it's fucking Russia can't deliver shit for shit anymore. Dude, I wouldn't even worry about that job. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it made it out of the silo. Dude, based on what we saw in Ukraine. Is anybody, like, anybody else a little weirded out that Russia has nukes? Like, based on what we saw in Ukraine, based with the, the cross-sections of the fucking barrel, based on the equipment standards, based on the supply line, based on fucking the training standards, based on how they're just fucking conscripting wherever they need it, right? Like, oh, I don't know. I'm a little weirded out that Russia has nukes. Like, I get it. They're like, you know, you should be weirded out that anybody has nukes, and I am. But, like, 
homie, like, I'm not sure, like, are they gonna, is one gonna just gonna blow up in one of the, the, like, silos one of these days? Is just, we're just gonna have a fucking nuclear event pop off in Russia because Russia forgot to main, like, run maintenance on a fucking nuke? Like, is that, like, because some fucking commander took a grift that month, right? And there's, oh, we don't need the maintenance this month. Uh, anyone else put salt on their apple slices? No, but I do salt watermelon. <clears throat> Beast literally laughing at the idea of Russian nuking themselves. Uh, yep, that sounds about right. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, we just fucking like uh, uh fucking Abe Simpson that bitch like walked into the fucking oh nope mm. <laughs> oh I know cupcake right The NSA, the National Crime Agency for for the UK, said that they have ten known sex offenders that they're aware of that have done this already. What's up, Matic? Uh, in 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 Soviet in Soviet Russia, silo nukes you. Except it's not Soviet Russia. In in Russian Federation, silo nukes you. Watch the adop uh, adoption applications like a hawk. Ugh. Just watch for the name Woody Allen. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's happily married these days. I think. Still. To his oh, God, that's so creepy. Um. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, interesting. I got a few of those. You know, okay, so here's a strategy. I'm looking at the roundup list for, um, like, police officers convicted of, arrested or convicted of um, predator sexual related um, crimes. Sheriffs. Sheriffs. It happens all the time, right? There was one in Pennsylvania just, just recently. There's, I'm looking at one here. I'm looking at one here. Sheriffs. A sheriff gets tagged for fucking, like, you know, diddling half the town's kids or some shit like that. Dude, that should be a leftist opportunity. Sheriffs, nobody fucking knows what the fuck. Dude, that, that what was it the trans fucking liber right-wing libertarian fuck over in New Hampshire almost got elected? Made it past the primary because the Republicans didn't know who the fuck they were voting for. They just vote for people, right? Like, this this ought to be, like, we ought to just fucking watch lists and just be like, all right, there you go. There's your opening. Who, who wants to be sheriff of some bumfuck county in, like, you know, nowhere? Run for an, a sheriff on a, a platform of not enforcing evictions. I, Dude, Carpe, I wouldn't even say shit. You know what? You run the most minimal campaign possible. You just say the basics. And then when you're sheriff, you just fucking do what you do. Do what you want to do. But you're sheriff. I mean, you and I both know. And yeah, Beast, the fucking the last week tonight, the constitutional sheriff sort of shit. Like, yeah, there's a lot of leeway. I know Carpe knows the leeway in this one. There's a lot of leeway in that in being a sheriff. Um, so like if you can get the job, yeah. God, there's just like a couple few on this list. It's even, ooh, that's not a good look, but you're there. What happened? Protect the people, stop crime, help people. Sheriffs among the freest people in the country. Yeah, no, no, no. Carpet, they are. Uh, apparently, Addison County Sheriff Peter Newton, Addison County's Vermont. Uh, <laughs> um, he, um, <clears throat> he's up on sexual assault charges 
Um, he has chosen to represent himself. Uh, he's under extreme risk protection orders by prosecutors uh, and relief from abuse order from his ex-wife. Um, he's apparently a piece of work and he's chosen to represent himself in court. So he'll be going to jail soon. Um, so in Addison County, Vermont, there is now an opening probably for sheriff very quickly. Addison County Sheriff, how to run. Addison County Sheriff, how to run for office. Contact the county clerk, filing paperwork, pick up the paperwork, complete your paperwork within the filing window. <laughs> Vermont, running for office in Vermont, everyone. <laughs> what does it take to run for office in Vermont? Hey, Gemma. Um, okay. <laughs> come to the, come down, pick up the paperwork fill out the paperwork and turn in the paperwork before you, 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 you need to not <laughs> step two campaign. Yeah, that's it. Get to it. Get elected. Uh, Chad, I'm originally from Vermont. <laughs> it's my home state. Uh, despite not having the, uh, up country. Okay, so Addison County, six, uh, 7 Mahady count, Court, um, uh, Middlebury, Vermont, uh, 0753. Uh, cool. Uh, fucking work. They get me to uh, give me a raise to almost livable wages, and then I get the Rona. Oh, tech support. All that hurts, man. Oh, he's announced his retirement. I think he's announced his retirement. Hold on. Is this Peter? Is this the Peter Newton? Yes. Okay, so he's retiring. <laughs> uh, it, oh, in his retirement video, he faults half a dozen people by name. Who leaked the information to the media? Jesus Christ. And then he tried to cover it with the public fucking, oh, yeah, I could do better than you. Um, okay. Addison, let's see. I love, I love that we still call them this in Vermont, by the way. Vermont's just like old fucking school, by the way. Um, Addison County is the uh, Shire Town. We say shit like that in Vermont. It's the Shire Town. It's the county seat. Yeah, I'm telling you. Move to Vermont. Especially if you're a person of color. It's going to be racist as shit for a little while. Uh, but if you're a person of color, we really, really need you in Vermont. <laughs> get, they need to get over over that <laughs> uh, yes run for Shire Reeve I would have gotten away with it if it, weren't for, if it wasn't for you meddling yeah so it's small it's only got 37,363 in the entire county uh, tech support I guess you don't either but But uh, if you're thinking of moving there, it does have a perk or two. And this is what your commute's going to look like. <laughs> it's not bad. Carpe, full recreational. And uh, the weed industry in Vermont isn't controlled by big business, small growers, shit like that. <laughs> Gemma, for sure. Court composer to the Shire. 
Yeah, full recreational with small growers across the state, house based stuff like that. Is it true that everyone in Vermont drives a Subaru? Uh, I grew up with Subarus. Yes, everybody, everybody drives Subarus in Vermont. You're, you're fucking elsewhere. See, that's the thing. Is like if you drive a Subaru, you're either a lesbian or a Vermonter. Yeah, there's so many of them there. There's so many of them. Um. <laughs> uh, Maddox, so many trees to hide behind with the old speed gun. Yeah, we don't really do that that much. Also, um, this is the crowning achievement of Vermont right here. Act 250, the Natural Resources Board, the Act 250, passed in the 1970s, before I was even brought onto this plane of existence. Act 250 is beloved in Vermont. Act 250 is the reason that our highways look like this and not This. Uh, it's not just the billboard, Papa, but the billboards are one of the best things. You can't put billboards on this highway. It's not allowed. Um, you can't have smokestacks either. Um, infamously, Act 250, smokestacks and billboards. Gone. That's why Vermont's pleasant to be in. We don't have smokestacks. We don't allow that level of pollution in our state to start with. We don't allow visual clutter on the landscape. Oh, the yeah, the roads are New England roads. Um, it's it's an environmental conservation. Uh, it's a series of environmental cons conservation regulations that are tightly ingrained and like in the, the like the genetic makeup of Vermonters. It makes it so the state doesn't look like garbage. It's that simple. <laughs> like it, it really is. Um, when you have this in your state, you protect it. There's heaven there. So Imagine if somebody were allowed to put up a billboard. McDonald's was was held in check for quite some time. Um, and Walmart didn't get in until the 90s. Um, because Vermont made them competitive with mom and pops. Um, You gonna carve out a place for a billboard? No, you're not. And I'll fight you to the death to ensure that it's never allowed. <laughs> it is it is particularly beautiful driving along in Vermont. Uh boom, how are the Republicans Vermont? We have our own conservatives, but they tend to be right wing libertarian types rather than your traditional Republicans. Um we um 
yeah, we have racists because it's an ethnically isolated state. We need more people of color. We need more ethnicities and races to like move to Vermont so people get exposed to it. The uh, bigger cities, Montpelier, uh, Montpelier uh, if you're from Vermont or Montpelier, if you're f- actually f- pronouncing it f- from a French accent, um, Montpelier and Burlington are going to be pretty good. They're big cities. It's the capital and the largest city, respectively. Um and, but outside that, when you get into the rurality, you're going to get um, some uh, racism. There's some specific in saying racism and not bigotry because hilariously, Vermont is like super progressive. It's just they're not exposed to people of color. So they have some like inbuilt eth- ethno shit going on, right? They're, they just don't know. They haven't been exposed to fucking Hispanics and black people. It's, it's, it's. Yeah. So, but they're like super progressive, like in all, like most of the other ways. There's hilarious cul- stories about how there was a, uh, one of the attorney generals of the state was a woman, a uh, uh, black woman. And uh, she had to leave office because of all the death threats and shit she was getting. Um, but they elected a trans woman instead. She was white. That's, that's the thing. Like that's, that's the kind of weird shit that happens in Vermont. Is that like you're like oh my god they were so racist that they like drove out the uh, you know the the black woman and you're like yeah well who they elect some fucking white guy no trans woman they're super progressive they just they don't know any black folk there's none there there's none for them to know so they're just exposed to media and shit and it's just the the, the, the cultural fucking vortex of non-knowledge just swirls they're just like they need black people they need hispanic people they need asian people of all sorts they need the subcontinent they need fucking chinese they need everything they need exposed vermont is so ethnically isolated that they have an inbuilt racism due to that isolation and but they're super progressive they're open-minded you just have to catch them correct and so, like, this is a place that adopted Bernie. Bernie was, like, right at home. We have anarchists, for fuck's sake. An- Vermont anarchists and f- co-ops. Like, I grew up with so many co-ops. It's fucking ridiculous the amount of cooperatives that exist and food co-ops and farmers and gardening co-ops and fucking reading collectives. And it- it's it's legitimately one of the most progressive places in our country, if not the most progressive place in the country. But, like, all of America, they have a race problem. <laughs> and it's not it's exacerbated in Vermont by the fact that they're at, they're geographically isolated because as was pointed out the truth of the matter is is that snow snow it's 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 le- oh my god why did you leave um my mom um was a working gal she was chasing that corporate dollar um, she was a, by that point, she was a corporate reorganizer with an MBA for hospitals, utilizing a lifetime of uh, experience from uh, being in an emergency room and an operating room, uh, a nurse. Um, and so having managed recovery rooms and ORs and ERs, she basically would then reorganize the structure, both technologically, she'd take bids from like HP and space labs and stuff like that, uh, to redo the tech of a, uh, of a hospital, but she'd also go through the employment and, th- you know, and so fire a bunch of people move, fire a bunch of people move, fire a bunch of people move. By that point in my mom's career, that's what she was basically doing. And so it necess- necess- necessitated moving finally to conduct this, this job. She had been laid off by the uh, hospital in Vermont at that point. So that, uh, at that point it was, okay, now it's time to make moves with the MBA. And fucking do shit. And she started climbing the corporate ladder. And to climb the corporate ladder, you don't do it from Vermont. So along I went because child. Yeah. Um, trust me, I often think, what 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 if? How would it have turned out differently? <sighs> I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have the neuropathy. Pretty sure. Yep. I grew up in mid Michigan. Vermont sounds doable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, left song for sure. Yeah. If you, if you've survived a mid Michigan winter, you're fine in Vermont. Uh, less like m- more cold snow, less wet snow. Yeah. We, t- they tend to get some wet winters and God knows fucking, you know, climate change and all that. Um, but honestly, it's my, one of my favorite, it's, it's probably, it's my favorite place on earth. 
I, I will forever be an advocate for Vermont. It's a brilliant place. It's an amazing place to live. Um, to be a little white boy, to just, to just be a little white boy, gay or not, in Vermont, I gotta tell you, it's probably as close to like growing up in Switzerland or something that you can get in this country. It's, it's a hell of an experience. It's a hell of an experience. Uh, like I said, yeah, there's, there's food everywhere. Everybody grows. Everybody. What's the difference between New Hampshire and Vermont? Anar what's it? Uh, boom. The difference between Vermont and New Hampshire is the difference between um, anarchists and libertarians. State culture is why uh, as well. That's the difference. New Hampshire is libertarians. Vermont is anarchist. Yeah. Like it's it, Vermont has like the alternative ideas. Vermont's very much like fuck off, leave me alone, get out of my get out of my way, get the state out of my business. I want to do what I want to do, but they do it collectively. They do cooperatives, they do farmer co-ops and housing co-ops and stuff like that. Vermont is anarchists, even though they do like when our conservatives rise up in Vermont, they're like right wing libertarian types. In New Hampshire, the culture is very much right wing libertarian as a primacy. Get the fuck out of our way. Get the government out of our way don't tell me what to do now capitalism right like that's that's sort of the, that is the difference between uh vermont and new hampshire is vermont is the anarchists new hampshire is the uh, the uh libertarians oh yeah maybe the, the, all the good things about robert durst <laughs> maybe you want to open a little shop in vermont even though he definitely killed his wife sold me on the location though yeah it's 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 legitimately the best place it's the best place it's the best place the 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 only thing that could improve vermont would be if vermont were somehow in the caribbean at the same time that's it you just need to like magic some shit to make it better it needs to, like I said, the racism problem can be fixed by, you know, out of state immigration. That's not a big deal. Um, they just need exposed. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, believe in them. They're good people. They just, you know, how, how the fuck do you, right? You have to know somebody. It's the easiest way. No, I hate trans people. And then they get to know some, uh, you know, trans person. They're like, oh, okay, never mind. You know, don't hate trans people anymore. It's like that. It's like that. You, they just need good examples. They need something other than what the fucking TV shows them. Yeah, need a little help, like us all. Yeah. I, I firmly believe this. You see, Vermont, like I said, they have these weird track records on this sort of thing. They're like super progressive. They're just... Dude, they're super isolated. There's not enough like people of color in Vermont. They're just fucking white people everywhere. Just far as the eye can see. Like, you want to see the whitest thing in in, in in like in existence? Right? Welcome to a Vermont, uh, this is a Vermont farmer's market. Uh, Beast, if you're still here, you'll notice that you have matching hairstyles, um, that we uh, are already aware that white people have dreads and that um, it is a hairstyle in Vermont. It's just one of those things. Uh, if I want to practice jailbreaking some tractors, Vermont would love me. It, 100% they would, Tech. For, no, for real. Like, that's the sort of shit that Vermonters automatically, like, they can do what? Can I get that off that? Bunch of racist hippies. <laughs> this is it's this is Vermont. This is a farmer's market in Vermont. Like this is this is just this is this is how it goes. And you can see there's a fucking street right up there. It's just a fucking there's a street right there, Cape Cod Road, there's a fucking da. It's just it's just, it's just super fucking white. This was the that was Stowe, Vermont, by the way, which I grew up near. Right. Uh, this is Chittenden County's. Here's here. Here you go. Here's Chittenden County, Vermont. Okay. Homemade fucking bread, homemade goods, shit that people make out of their farms and fucking that sort of thing. Dude, this is just what I grew up with. I I don't like. See, that's the thing. It's like I, I my mom and I have talked about this. Um, here is the um, 
Here's the Rutland Winners Market when it's indoors. Right? Like, this is... This, what is this shit? I'll, I'll get my face out of the way. There you go. All the fucking... And stuff made. And honestly, I like, there's, there's just... You grow up in Vermont and you you end up thinking a certain way really easily because it's not complicated because you grow up doing it. Here's Brattleboro. Kid was wearing pirate flags. Fuck yeah, um, y'all can keep the snow, dude. It, that's dude. That's the drawback, Papa John. I, I won't deny it, dude. It gets cold. Winter in Vermont's a motherfucker. Um, oh, it's because of a different fucking wall too. It's also a different wall design. Um, yeah, basically, yeah. Um, uh, also, oh, the, the other thing that you want to, uh, bloody fart stain, tell my name, uh, you want to include in that is that, um, Biden also got, uh, the, uh, the Mexican government to agree to fun help fund it. 1.3 billion or something like that. So, uh, Donnie, uh, couldn't get a fucking, get, get the international cooperation either. But Biden's wall design is entirely different. It's not even a real wall. Like it's it's more of an electronic uh, net than anything else. I would describe it as a series of electronic sensors that are interlinked and monitored than a wall. I mean, if you want to call a firewall a wall, then you can call a firewall a wall. Electronically speaking, because a firewall is a very real thing in a vehicle. Just so you know, it comes from there. It is a breaker demarcation. Uh, it's also used in um, commercial and residential construction. It's a real thing. But electronically speaking, you, if you want to call a firewall a piece of software a wall, then I guess you can call us, call this a wall. Um, yeah, but there is a semantical difference and there is a technological difference between what's being outlaid on the Trump side versus the, uh, the Biden side. So there's nuance there that does need explored one way or the other. Oh, they, the, was it the, uh, ba, 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 the Yuma gaps? Somebody from, I mean, <laughs> uh, hold on. I have a picture of those. Yeah. This. Here's the Yuma gaps. Yeah. Uh, code condoms. You want firewalls to be called code condoms. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, the truth of the matter is, is that, yeah, there's a series of gaps, uh, in the border wall down by Yuma, um, that were never completed because, well, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the Trump administration was completely incompetent and he handed out the construction contract to a buddy of his. And so the, uh, the wall started falling apart like near immediately. So I, you know, I mean, it was a shit construction job. Yeah. Biden's getting less flack than, um, than, uh, Trump did. But the fact of the matter is the initial destruction of the, the ecosystem and the, the, uh, the, um, interruption of the, the personalized travel of the residents of the area, because the wall isn't actually on the border. The border wall doesn't exist on the border. It exists on our side. Um, so, like, there's a disruption of uh, socioeconomic travel and uh, of these various communities. All of that was already done. It, it, we we already fucked the whole thing up. So, yeah. Like, personally, I'd say tear the whole fucking thing down. But, I mean, you probably catch cancer from God knows what they fucking <laughs> Trump-associated construction contract. You're going to find some fucking offloaded bodies in that cement um XO, i'm against the wall but do it right if you do i mean the wall design is fucking retarded to start with sorry it is that's the truth of the matter um the trump hold on here it's a bad wall it's a bad wall um yeah here Here's the border. Here's the wall climbing competition uh, flyer. Even 
What? Speed climbing competition on a replica of the border wall on the U.S. South border, southern border. Where? Meadow next to the main Pure Valley uh, parking lot in Wolf County, Kentucky. This is where the first uh, first annual was held, by the way. This is a real climbing event. Competition rules. Three technique categories with prizes and trophies. Rope and ladder, rope and gear, free climb and ascend. I'll tell you right now, a 12-year-old girl did the free climb and ascend, and she did it in like eight seconds. A Trump, a Trump border wall is the h- most hilarious uh, bad design that's ever been, basically, at this point. It's really, really bad. Like, it's really scalable. These are, hold on, let me try and get a, let me try and get a straight shot of them so you can see. Yeah, here you go. Um, oh, and here's, here's a really good example of how it just gets evaded. Okay, this is pole climbing. This is just pole climbing at that point. This is just pole climbing. You can literally just pole climb this. Oop, close. Um, yeah, good shoes, dry hands, a little chalk. If you fucking really want to go at it. Um, uh, Axel, actually what you want to see is, hold on, hold on. Um, there it is. This is how effective the the wall is. Oh, and in case you're one of those people here, hold on, Uh, because there uh, there are people that are like, okay, so hold on. Uh, also, there's just this. Hold on, there's like multiple techniques here. All right, uh, boom. Okay. So where's the secondary? There we go, and we can see it in action, and we can sort of see it from there. Okay, so. All right, so a lot of the the walls have this sort of like barrier on top. No, we can't. I don't have a video of it. Um, But it's really easily overcomable. No matter how high it is, you can get up and over this barrier. By the way, this is the default climbing methodology. Anybody can do it. I can teach somebody in 30 seconds how to climb one of these walls. But you can bypass the entire thing if you just have a long enough fucking ladder or two ladders tied together because that's just how you defeat the wall. But anyway, here's an experienced climber who was showing, uh, who is demonstrating how you can get from the bars and do the transition at the actual competition because this is the competition piece. He was showing how you you can actually get up and over like you can get your hands up to past this fucking point and everything it's ridiculous this wall is infinitely de- uh, defeatable um you can get past it uh, so many different ways so many different ways from just literally just climbing it to driving your entire fucking vehicle over the top of it it's an absolutely ridiculous example of uh, border defense and it's fucking worthless. It's garbage. So fuck Biden for putting more pieces in it. Fuck Trump for even starting the project. Fuck anybody who even supports this project because you're an idiot. Right? Like, if you're dumb enough to believe that this fucking wall will work, then you haven't been paying a lick of attention. Like, most fucking Trump people, though. I mean, that's walls work. Just ask China. Yes, ask China. Fucking Mongolians went around the goddamn wall fucking biggest goddamn wall in history and they're like hey what's going on wait where'd you come from yeah we just went around no big deal what yeah walls don't fucking work moron 
fucking ask about the Berlin Wall. Ask about the fight. These, these people don't fucking know. Like it's just walls don't work. They don't work. It's not an effective strategy in this instance. Uh, supposedly the reason Biden's wall signal was to prevent migrant deaths, uh, deaths call bullshit. Uh, apparently when it went up, had a higher chance of deaths for people coming into U.S. Bullshit. Now they're just going to route them into one of the more one of the worst areas, Excel. I've been hearing this excuse for years and years and years. We put up a border in that section um, so because it's a very dangerous border crossing. Yeah, and then you drive them around, and then they end up going through another portion of the desert that has no resources whatsoever in it. They end up dying in the middle of the desert, and fucking border and customs has to go out there and collect bodies at random. What's the fix? Open borders. The, the fix is to just fix the immigration policy. The, the, the money on the table, there's a trillion dollars literally on the table. If you just run open borders policy. This is not a complicated thing. Uh, there's, there's literally an, like a cartoon books written about how effective an open borders is stra uh, economic strategy can be. And how it, like, it, 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 look, I can get you the book if you want, blah, blah, blah. But the long and short of it is you're going to come at me with criminality. You're going to come at me with integration into culture and societal dis disruption. You're going to come at me with resource scarcity due to the influx of the people. This is what your three, or the big three. The book addresses all three of those topics for you and is very well sourced and cited if you need me to get it. But the long and short of it is that you need to run an open borders policy economically that's what what you're doing also you need to knock off fucking up these people's countries because a lot of the refugee status um is already an issue we're creating the refugees and then we're like oh what are we going to do about these refugees stop creating refugees morons you're creating the situation and the circumstances in these people's governments in which has created a uh, 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 an unlivable nation state for them and so they fled it to your shores, which hilariously enough, you're the most stable, uh, a, a, a stable uh, nation state in the region, despite you being the source of the destabilizing elements for their original nation state. So knock off the intelligence service and the congressional activity uh, uh, in the southern hemisphere. A lot of the refugees would probably stop migrating right out of the gate uh, after that. If fucking countries wouldn't be as shitholes as they were, at least there are a few generations of sort of reach homeostasis if we stop fucking with it um and then yeah you need to fix your border policy immigration uh immigration and border policy needs to be completely overhauled um so yeah intelligence service u.s fiddling in the in the southern hemisphere and then you know fucking border policy those are your two fixes not complicated um Oh, nice. All right. Good to know, Dig. Uh, 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 boom. No, the number one methodology for um, for illegal immigration in the U.S. is overstaying visas. It's not even close. The border crossings are, are few and far between. The border crossings account for almost none. It's like, I don't know, 8, 12, 15 percent of the actual illegal immigrants in America. The illegal immigrants. Nobody's illegal. Go fuck yourself. But I'll use the, the, the vernacular of the day. Um fucking it's yeah overstaying the visas the the primary choice for illegally emigrating to this country most people do that that way it's much easier you can even do it from mexico you can even do it on the southern border it's not complicated fucking people it's 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 people who are already like undocumented people that like this it's people who are already caught within the nation state complex and the trap the sis, uh, gl like global economic system as it were right that are that are the these category the fact of the matter is the majority of the quote unquote illegal immigrants in America just fucking walk in here nobody says shit about that what we complain about is the the, the lowest of the low the most marginalized of the marginalized <laughs> the tired the poor right <laughs> Wretched refuse, teeming masses, that one. Jesus Christ. Uh. It's a hundred percent a racist non issue. <laughs> nice tech support. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, fuck it. Wake up, bitch. <laughs> I have COVID. Um, 
French know firsthand how all of the, the Magano line worked well against the uh, German Panzers. Yep. All right. I, it's just, it's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. It's a non-issue. The nation state is an outmoded technology and it needs downgraded and moved from removed from the production cycle. It's that simple. Actually, Afghanistan is a mixed uh, climate. It's not just Af uh, they have deserts, but it's not a desert. To say Afghanistan is a desert is incorrect. It's, uh, it's categorically incorrect. It has deserts. Afghanistan's a big place, and it's got some big deserts in it. But it's uh, many much. It's more. Yeah. Um. What's up, Wordy? Got mountains too, says Carpe. Oh, wordy, wordy, wordy. We did up. <laughs> hey, Aspen, are are you like? It's after the kiddos go to bed and shit like that, right? You you'll be available. All right. Um. Okay. Nation states are depreciated. Please migrate to autonomous localized collectives. <laughs> Tech support. Tech support, writing prompt. You open your eyes one morning and the first thing you see is a pop-up message in your vision that says, nation states are depreciated. Please migrate to autonomous localized collectives. You blink and it goes away, right? You're like, what the fuck? I just read, what's going on? Huh? Nerdy anarchist fic. Fanfic. <laughs> I happily give you credit for that. It means I wouldn't have to have that uncomfortable conversation with the about the asshole who did. Oh. <clears throat> then I'd believe in the Matrix. <laughs> um did you? Oh you did. Shot you a follow. Um off for the night. Um Hi, right, Chad. Come on back. I'll be here. Have a good one. Sleep well. Take care of yourself. Um. Yeah, if we could get Arizona a little further than four hours from us, it'd be great. Actually, Arizona's and Phoenix is about four hours. Four and a half to five, depending how you drive. Arizona's only about, um, depending how you drive, buck 15 to a buck and a half away from us. You can get to it pretty quickly right down the, uh, right down the 15, jump over. No big deal. Swap out to the 95, take the 93 down. That'll jump over. You eventually have a crossover to, that meets up with Laughlin. You'll cut, you'll cut through the mountains. You'll come down the pass and dump out over the Laughlin Bridge at the end of it. Um, voila, you're in Arizona. Cross the Laughlin Bridge, you'll be in Bullhead City. Um, or you could go up and around over the dam and down, uh, down through like Kingman. Um, <clears throat> takes you like two to get to Havasu. Uh, dig Arizona's mad racist in my experience. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, dude, the fucking dude, the super racist towards brown people. All the white people are super fucking privileged in that that part of the like country, uh, or at least uh, they really, really white people in Arizona really, really don't like to accept where they are. Arizona and white people, the boomers, uh, snowbirds, which are boomers anyway, fucking, and then desert dwellers, right? Oh, and then you got the corporate interest down in Phoenix, which is ridiculous. We got a few uh, like uh, Motorola's down there, Intel's down there. Um, it is they they refuse to accept that they are in like Spanish territory, like they just re absolutely refuse to accept it. And they just I, I don't I don't know what more to say about it. That living in Arizona is I lived there for 
Oh, what would that be? Um, five, six, seven years? I think seven years. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting place. Let's just put it that way. Don't get pulled over driving while brown. Um, funny part, we didn't used to be. We literally had laws basically make hiring immigrant workers easier. Yeah. 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 Then, uh, well, resource scarcity, shit got tamped down. And each group takes their own at a different rate. Like the Chinese people, it was illegal to be Chinese here for a while. It's illegal to be Japanese here for a while. It was illegal to be. I've flown over Arizona a couple of times, says Gemma. Uh, that's probably the best policy. <laughs> Caboose, it feels like it all went ha downhill after I moved out. You were the only thing holding it, Caboose. I'm sensing I didn't miss much. Oh, you missed a lot, Gemma. You missed a lot. <laughs> it's just, it's just nothing you want to be involved with. <laughs> That's all. Uh... Hey, Caboose. I'm sorry, I thought I banned you. Uh, interesting. I noticed recently. Ban is calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Um, it states that the Nazi party was supported by more than 4,000 men in the paramilitary. That's like, oh, interesting. Yeah, Rumble. He's shooting for the like historically accurate number, probably, too. If you want to prove that adventurism is always bad, then it looks like a candidate. Oh, Jesus. Um, hold on. I'm just pulling a few photos just for shits and giggles. Interesting. The Arizona House Republicans don't have uh, the, the Arizona State House Republicans um, don't have a group photo. Democrats do. And even it's fucking pretty white. A lot of women, though. Give them, I'll give them credit for the women. Uh, everybody, just so you know, this is the uh, this is the Supreme Court of the state that's pretty much run by um, quote Mexicans. Apparently, just so you know, um, this is this is the the state that is run by Mexicans. This is their Supreme Court. <clears throat> I'm working on their uh, their House leadership. It's, it's white. It's white. Um. Arizona State Legislature. Oh, God. And their site leads load so slowly. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. She's super Mexican. Brenda Barton. 
Let's see. Morgan Abram. These are the Democrats, by the way. These are the fucking Democrats. Uh, I'm sure uh, the Leo Basci uh, Basiucci. I'm sure he's Mexican. Um, <laughs> Walt. They got a guy named Blackman who's actually black. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, she's not Mexican either. He's not Mexican. She's not Mexican. He's not Mexican. I mean, any of these could be like, you know, white passing Hispanic people from Mexico that I could be like completely, uh, you know, miscategorizing and being racist. Oh, hey, 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 I'll give you one. Maybe two-ish. No. Hey, three. Uh, four, five, maybe-ish. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Epstein ain't, ain't it. Um, six, seven. Uh, yeah, these are definitely a couple of uh, eight. Definitely not. Fincham, definitely not. Okay, nine, ten. I gotta tell you, a state. I'll give you two there. So, twelve. I got to tell you, for a state that is supposedly run by, uh, by quote unquote Mexicans, you sure don't have a lot of Mexicans in charge. How, how do you propose? Is this an, as a black man talking? Oh, a hundred percent already a hundred percent. Yes, now they're pretending to be Mexican. It's fucking... Whole, yeah. So anyway. Arizona has some interesting racial demographics. Oh. Oh, God. <coughs> that was my county, Mojave. So let me get this straight, bloody. How do you propose that the Mexican population controls the state of Arizona again? Just out of curiosity. Wondering if you may have a, you know, quick response there. Because they're employed in government employee roles? Yeah.
They don't even make up. They make up a huge chunk. They don't even make up the majority of school age population. Like they don't even move the Mexicans from Arizona, Vermont. Oh God, I would do that in an instant. In an instant. No, I didn't carpe. I didn't see that. Who is it? Hold on, give me one sec. Nope. You can say black. Not a fan. All right, here we go. I love this scene. I adore this scene. You can say black. Not offended. Why would you be offended? I'm half black. Mom is Italian. Well, no, I'm black on the inside. What are you up here? A uh, race car driver. What lap are you on? 33. He had answers, by the way. That's John Lajoie actually just improving. That's just John Lajoie improving. So like, they had no idea where he was going. He just was fucking wandering. It's like I'm half black. What? No, I'm. I can hear. What are you up here? Race car driver. We'll lap you on. Thirty-three. Yeah, I love that scene. Oh. So what's wrong with Phoenix schools being run by Mexican students? Bloody, I still don't see your point. Oh, dig, yeah, I know who you're talking about, the fucking politician or whatever that forgot to switch accounts. Yeah, bloody, I still don't understand your point. You seem rather bothered by uh, Hispanic people. What's the bother? What does it matter? Is there a problem with being treated as a min is there a problem being a minority in America? Is our system poorly designed for minorities? <clears throat> I, I just don't understand your point. You seem worked up over something that I'm not sure why you're worked up over it. What does it matter if there's a large Hispanic population in the schools? Are the school, like, school superintendents Hispanic as well? I mean, I, I, I again, I, I don't, I don't, ketchup is not spicy. <laughs> Kavaz, ketchup is not spicy. You were a liar. Mayo is not spicy either. Get in the catapult. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I just, I'm, I'm missing your point and I'm, I'm, I'm asking for some clarification. I don't understand why it's such a negative thing that, like, 44% of, Students within the Arizona school system is Hispanic. Why? Why is that a problem? Um, I'm here. Oh, I think I deleted. Oh, he got banned. Wait, did he get banned? Oh, he got, he's no, he's arguing without content. Fucking, um, uh, cupcake invoked our like real actual only rule. Oh, I guess 
that in. Oh. Imagine that, Aspen. Oh, uh, no, you deleted it? Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, well, then, bloody, now you know. Start arguing with content. Like, I, I, what, what, what you got, bloody? What you got? I'm asking right now. I don't understand what you, what your point is. What's your fucking point? You keep, you, you, you keep talking about, like, Hispanic population. You talk about how Arizona is this amazing dream world of a state. But then you talk about how it's horrible because it's being run by Mexicans. Um, so which is it? Is it an amazing stream state? If, if it is, wh why? Because apparently it's being run entirely by Mexicans and that seems to work because it's a dream state, but it seems to be a problem because you don't like Mexicans or something. Like, I'm confused. I'm confused, bloody. I don't understand what you're trying to do here. You're trying to sell a state. You're like, hey, look at my state. My state's amazing. Also, my state's horrible and has been compromised. Like, I don't understand the purpose of what you're doing. Yeah, funny that since it used to be Mexico. Schrodinger shithole. Yeah, dude, you worry. You can't be smoking pipes. Not with any regularity. If you're just like out at a pool party or something, you know. It's called racism. Maybe it's new to him. In Arizona? I'm shocked. Shocked, I say shocked. Yeah. What's your deal, man? Where are you? Where'd you go? Why are you silent all of a sudden? What's going on? Where'd you go? Ugh, boss. I mean, you do you, bro. But not a chance in hell am I fucking smoking a pipe with any regularity. Um, <clears throat> all right. It's actually pretty good. I might add that to the collection. What do y'all think? I just ran. You do dab still. Jesus Christ. Destroy that which destroys you. It's pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's, he, I, I'm guessing gone. Like, I'm guessing gone. But either way. That or just waiting for chat to uh, forget that he's here so he can say some, some stupid shit. Either way. I'm guessing gone, though. Um, dude, wordy. I got, yeah, I got too high last night. Uh, I've written down that he is still here. So much for the tolerant left. I love that one. It's one of my favorite ones. I'm just trying to make your stream likable with better content in chat. No, you're not. You're trying to espouse your racist theories. You're a bigot. You're pretty much the worst of what humanity can produce because when you pathologize how you, uh, how you process and how you interact with human beings, it can end up in some pretty fucking dark places. So no. Don't pretend like you're trying to bring light to the world when, in fact, you suffer from malignant personality traits. The truth of the matter is, is that you hate Mexicans. Probably more, too. Oh, well, then I'll stop doing it. Um, also, let's do this. Bam. Congratulations. You will be contributing no content. Anyway, uh, apparently we've killed an Al Qaeda leader again. I'm sure that won't uh, that won't continue the everlasting cycle 
um, that has been. Uh, <laughs> the point is mute and moot. Um, anyway. Okay, so we did the anti-union stuff. We talked about a couple of those. We could do the blue roundup. We could do that. Um, oh, God. Okay. So, uh, mm, okay. So, I don't feel like getting into that one today. Okay, so there's serious review on um, whether, uh, okay, there may be absolutely no evidence that depression is caused by chemical imbalance or low serotonin levels. We're going to get into it in a few days. So, yeah, there's a whole conversation to be had there. Yeah, he tweeted. Yeah, he did. He had 25 mil on him. Fucking. Uh, capitalism kills? Yeah. Uh, Kvass, in fact, that's what, um... <laughs> sociological influence seems to be, um... Seems to be a large contributing factor that was earlier, um, negated. Uh, Blue Terry Teddy, thanks for the gift sub. Jesus fucking Christ. Um... Freud with laser eyes. Dick, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, has been, ooh, fun and interesting. Yeah. Uh, we need to... Gemma, I can think of a few things they probably achieved. <clears throat> a thousand percent of current systems causing or exacerbating depression. Yeah. yeah how, do you, how do you not be? Right? Yeah, dude, Gemma, those SSRIs are fucking... Hey, you're welcome. Uh, welcome, Teddy. No, uh, no worries. Um, yeah. Dude, those SSRIs, dude, we pump those into kids and shit at this point. Between the, like, the early life ADHD meds and the depression meds and... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, for patients, not for pharma bros. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Both. Carpe, I hated the SSRIs. Yeah. It, oh, it's... Yeah. There's a whole host of psychological phenomena, which we we have been uh, unfairly pathologizing and incorrectly categorizing. We've been, uh, we've been quantifying and qualifying these things completely incorrectly, it seems like. Hey, Aspen. Bozo's, uh, Bozo Bucks, baby. Fucking four months of it. Hype trade close. Oh, look, we're close to doing a capitalism. Um, let's see. Here we go. Cool. Oh, okay. So, um, guess what's happening in Mexico City? <laughs> the SSRIs, they do not sing. Uh, that was way French. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Schultz. Schultz. Hey, Mick Secular. Um, did you know most of the fucking, like, um, Hogan's Heroes crew were, like, Jewish and some of them were survivors? Like, Colonel Clink was a survivor. Because you don't know what you mean, what somebody means when they talk about, like, Jewish and Nazi and survive. Like, he survived a camp. He's a survivor. Like, yeah, Colonel Clink, the dude who plays the incompetent German in Hogan's Heroes, was a camp survivor. Like, a bunch of those dudes were Jewish. And fucking, like, for real. And they were there for a lot of it. Um, Yeah. Yeah, uh, he, was, he was asked about portraying a Nazi. And he's, like, one of the origins for that, like, quote about how they should be condemned to the annals of history or something like that for being buffoons. Right? Like, that's what he saw as the greatest justice was, you know how we should remember them? As fucking idiots. Write down what they did and then remember them as buffoons, I believe was his word. Yeah. 
Hey, thank you, Carpe. <clears throat> Who better than a survivor to portray an oppressor? Yeah. Congratulations, John. Um, and we did a, I think we did a thing. We're doing a capitalism. Level one complete capitalism. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a whole bunch of the cast from Hogan's Heroes were actually like Jewish and were survivors. And it's a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, just one of those, those sides. Um, so Mexico City is being gentrified and they're trying to get the foreign, foreign white people to leave. I'm not kidding you. They're having like problems. Um, <clears throat> Americans are starting to like flood into Mexico City. Like the, 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 the immigration rate is increasing. It's increasing drastically. Um, remote workers. Cheaper cost of living, remote workers are going there. So they're they're literally they're gentrifying the neighborhoods, right? The the racial dynamics, the housing market. But here's the thing. Fucking the the white people that move in largely don't speak Spanish and they want the they want the the uh, the Mexicans to speak English for them. Um and there is a movement afoot in Mexico City to asking Americans to go the fuck home. <laughs> Just get the fuck out of here. We don't want you here. Go home. Go home, Americans. Mexi Americans are making themselves unwanted because they refuse to integrate into the society they're immigrating into on our southern border. And the country across the way is as is getting sick of it and starting to tell them to stop gentrifying, fucking integrate into our society better and fucking... <laughs> Oh, God, I love fuck it. It just is perfect. Yeah. White Americans, go home. Go back to your country. <laughs> oh, what you got? Oh, God, do I care about this? Who is this even? Because assuming that men are... So powerful, which I do believe they are stronger and on average smarter. This is just statistical truths. Um, would there not be a Teddy? Thank you for the biddies, as well as um, did I? I Peaky, thank you for the biddies. Biddy threw fucking shamrocks down, and Teddy throwing fucking love down. Thank you kindly. Um, what what is this? Who Boom sent this to me? So I trust we can. Is that who this is? This is Lauren Southern. I don't know why, Cat Boom Boom linked it to me, and Boom's linked me decent content before, so I'm trusting Boom here. Um, fucking like I don't know what this is. I didn't even recognize this fucking dumb white nationalist cunt. Some sort of concept that it was men that created and structured the society to a degree, especially because they had power for so long. And perhaps the issue is less with all women causing this, but with some moral failing in men as well that allowed them to allow this civilization to persist. It was the Jews. Um, <laughs> and Jews are feminine. James. That's what I true. say, guys. That's right. Frankly, that's just true. my YouTube. Okay. It was... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, it was, was James. 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 <laughs> Signed for the music. Yes. Cannot, yeah. We're going to move Asked on, an move on this topic. I think, Doobie, if you haven't, heard, if you haven't spoken yeah, for a while. Okay, yeah, wait. So is this, is this all... So is this the Jews' fault, Nick, or is this women's fault? It's my fault. Let's not talk about... Let's go at Doobie. Can I... Um, because assuming that men I, I'm with Carpe Just fucking Fuentes Fucking Fuentes I mean what are you going to say to that Fucking Fuentes Just popping in from down below basically It's the Jews Fucking A Fuentes Dude it's always the Jews I really do I, th I think I'm going to go down to the synagogue And talk to the rabbi There's a There's a progressive synagogue right down the street from me um, and I just, I just, yeah, I feel like I, I need to go talk to a rabbi. <laughs> like, just so you know, like, political commentary online and talk to people. And Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> On behalf of the entirety of the non Jewish population of the world, I'm sorry. Like, sorry. Sorry for all of our crazy people. Jesus fucking Christ, these people are idiots. It's always the Jews. It's always the Jews. It's always the Jews. Uh, of course, I don't even know. I don't even have the fucking modern debate. I don't know who these fucking people are. Are we trying to reclassify what debate is? So, like, we don't have to. The, the juice media is great. All right. 
Oh, we've collected emotes. I see just replaced Jews with Catholics and you're closer to the truth. <coughs> um, there we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted to press. Proto panels. He'd moderate 1v1 debates, make sure folks submitted sources and speaking times, all that shit. Oh, interesting. All right. I kind of approve. Fair play. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Do you come, the one down the street from me, it's a fucking, it's, it's a progressive synagogue. It's progressive Judaism, and it's a synagogue in Las Vegas. Right? Like, I, I know what I'm walking into. The fucking rabbi here has a reputation. <clears throat> She's great. Um, notice the she in that statement. Um, he's the worst moderator I've seen, says Crix. Okay. Duly noted. Let's see, we are, yes, this one. Um, well, I just fucking go to the link. Um, We got a female canter too. <clears throat> yeah, uh, you know it's a fucking synagogue in Las Vegas. Ah, uh, wait, what? Okay, debate over who's the worst moderate, moderator. Fair enough. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I can't in good conscience. I can't. So, I'm hungry, like really hungry. It's time. I am going to get a zomboid session in, though. Hot take all debate panels suck. Fight me. Um, the Christopher Hitchens, uh, Stephen Fry debate panel with the fucking, uh, the, the dumb twat Catholic chick from, um, Britain and the African Bishop, um, is brilliant. Um, yeah. So we're going to write over to can't stop the kittens. Cause that's what you need. You need kittens. Uh, but like I said, I am going to get some Zomboid in, just not on air. Oh my fucking God, the religion one. Okay, that was amazing. Yes. Um, whether the Catholic Church was a force for good in the world or not. Um, Hitchens and Fry won that debate handily, and that's just not my opinion. That's literally the, the outcome of the debate. Um, Hitchens and Fry won that debate handily. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's a great debate, if you ever want to see it. Yes, yes, yes. You want to play? By all means, you're welcome to play. I'll be in VC here in a second. Um, Anne Whitcomb. Yes, that's that's a. I knew Anne. I just couldn't get. Dude, the first Anne that popped in my head was Rice. Either way, catch y'all later. Oh Jesus.